podcast number one sports up www.thepopper.com a warm welcome to all of you for this incredible encounter dialogue schools rugby league 2023 it is the league decider here at bumble video st peter's college taking on isi patana in what will be a battle of winner taking it all the winner will be crowned as the dialogue schools rugby league champion and we'll make sure that they go home with the trophy. St. Peter's College looking for their title after 13 years. Isipatana College, the defending champions, will want to make sure that they take it back to have lockdown. Two schools who are in the close proximity of each other, separated by a canal, will be battling it out for the honours here at the Dialogue Schools Rugby League league decide the atmosphere is electrifying here at uh, the st peter's college grounds and the weather of course is nice and warm it's a uh, little to the warmer side maximum temperature at 32 currently it feels like 32 although it says partly cloudy uh, some clouds are present but the sun is uh, brimming down the, the stadium here at bumblebitia uh, there is a slight wind which will uh, go across uh, from right to the left of your screens uh, when you take a look at the grounds as uh, the Petrites have turned up in numbers to support their team to try and win this all-important league title. Teams going through their warm-ups will focus, will have to be fully focused at the task in hand. Isipatana College coming off a loss will be hurting. They were chasing uh, that unbeaten tag. They were chasing that golden finish. But uh, had a little blip last week against uh, Royal College. Here's uh, the Petrites who are unbeaten. Who will want to go the distance. The Isipatana coaching staff who will uh, have a keen eye on uh, all the proceedings. What a game we have in our hand. The points table has been um, an interesting one. All these teams, uh, the top four teams that uh, got qualified uh, to uh, the Super Round after week four, St. Peter's College played seven, won seven, are sitting pretty with 40 points to their name. Isipatana College played seven, lost one game and with six victories, they are at 37 points. So this is the league decider and uh, the winner will take it all. On the other hand, Royal College in third place having uh, lost two games that at the hands of his St. Peter's College and Trinity College are play with 31 points and the Antonians with 24 points. Now, interestingly, in this points table, if St. Peter's are to win, St. Peter's College uh, will undoubtedly be the champions and Isipatana College is at the risk of losing out the second position as well and if Royal wins it uh, with a bonus point. Players who have done wonderfully well out of that uh, Rinesh Silva is head and shoulders above the rest with 77 points to his name. He's been the chief point scorer for Isipatana College and will be a pivotal member if Isipatana are to be victorious here at Bambalapitya. As far as the try scorers go, the try scorers, uh, we have four players who have touched down six times Roshan Kumar of an the Antonius, Rinesh Silva of Isipatana will be featuring in this game, and also Sudesh Jayavikram at the center. And uh, last year, skipper of St. Peter's College, both of these lads will be on show today at Bumblepedia. Navid Mara Singer, despite bowing out early, also features in this top tie scorers list. All of these players scoring six tries. Now, as we discussed, Sisi Patana College had a wonderful start to the season against uh, Kinsut College. That was up in Candy, where they managed to run in many tries and got their season to a scrooge of a start. Managed to dominate Kinsut College up in Candy, up in Bogumbara. And um, the next game, the outing was against St. Thomas's College. That was uh, in Mount Lavinia. Again, Sisi Patana putting on a skin grating show of uh, good fast-paced running rugby and making sure that uh, 
everybody gets a message that they are serious contenders when it comes to the league this year as well. AC Patana's running game has been uh, one to watch out for. Their backs coming in. This was one of the closer games uh, AC Patana played despite winning the, uh, against DSN and I call College 22 points to 6. There was a good fight put in by the Dons who uh, really fronted up to AC Patana. That uh, score, of course, uh, by Zumri and uh, Khalidu Shanal joining in. Stuff of dreams for any schoolboy or any back player. Antonians uh, were no match for the Isipathanians who uh, really dominated the play and Rinesh Silva once again uh, the highest point scorer of the league showcasing his finishing abilities and touching down right under the, the purse against Wesley. Isipathana seemed like they had taken their foot off the pedal a little where they uh, weren't as fluent but yet collected a bonus point uh, again Rinesh Silva making all the hard work and uh, making the ball available for the backs and then uh, the Isi Patana charges Navin Kanishka benefiting from that and touching down right next to the post here's uh, the only play Pen Isi Patana's otherwise perfect uh, day where they went down to Royal College they touched down twice but couldn't get the win against Royal College. Aisi Patana playing six, losing just one game. And like we mentioned, 32 8 against Kinsu, 29 20 against St. Thomas's, 28 18 against St. Joseph's, against the SN and Ica College, 22 6 against the Antonians, 37 points to 30 26 against Wesley, 24 11 and going down to Royal with a bonus point uh, loss, 17 points to 22. The challenger to the title, the horse team of this title decider. St. Peter's College started off their season against uh, heavyweights, Royal College here at home. And uh, Sudesh Jayavikrama pouncing on that loose, loose ball, making sure that his team is victorious in the final minutes of that game. Scoring that try and making it win. This was one of the closer ones for St. Peter's College, one of the difficult ones that uh, St. Peter's face against Trinity College winning that one 22 points to 10 and uh, I think I'll be I won't uh, be wrong in saying this was one of the closer games that uh, the Petroids had to compete apart from that uh, Royal game where St. Peter's who uh, made Palak LA happy hunting grounds for them managing to make sure that their season is on track they remain unbeaten against Zahira Isipatana I beg your pardon St. Peter's went on a route 50 point 50 up on the scoreboard and in Maradana the Bamba Brigade showcased and Bamba Brigade showed that dominance to make sure that they send a message against Science College again St. Peter's College making a dominant performance and uh, against Vidyartha here at home hitting the ranks and making sure that they get those big victories. Just last week against the Antonian Tisipa, St. Peter's were determined to make sure that they get the bonus point. They did, did so in the first uh, half itself and uh, made sure that they are complete performance was a rounded one using their bench in the nine minutes of the game as well and making sure that their season gets off to a terrific terrific uh, end seven played seven won perfect season for st peter's college 11 points to five against royal 34 7 against armaraja 22 10 against trinity 56 7 against zahira 29 nil against Science College and against Vidyata, a thumping win of 66 points to 10. And the Antonians going down to the Pete Wrights, 39 points to nil. Well, we have plenty more to chat about uh, this league decider where winner will take it all. What we'll do now is we'll go for a quick commercial break. When we come back, we will have plenty more to chat about. Uh, and uh, plenty more to show you 
on what to expect in this league decider. We'll be back soon. Never forget it. oil. Big shaving foam. Atvitiya hai ki Hey, have you heard about Z? Z Z. We K Y C. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Enjoy the infinite possibilities of the freedom of space inspired by the beauty of our land. Sri Lanka's finest finished, largest sized porcelain tile collection. Majestica. Lanka tiles. Fine living. Redefined. experience Nine is fun like to set when Alut no cut to me nine is flavor ka rasa balanna Prima cut to me fun tamai Hey have you heard about Z Z Z We K Y C Easy Mobile banking crazy Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Kaloma, beautiful outside and inside. Hot and spicy, fun by Pick Up Ibarakarana. 
Action brought to you on Sri Lanka's number one sports app, www.thepopper.com, and I'm joined by my co-commentators who uh, finally managed to get themselves in the stadium. I hear that there is a massive commotion just outside the stadium with large numbers gathering and wanting to make their way in. But uh, warm welcome to both of you, gentlemen, Shana Kamar Singh and Abdullah Yusuf. Thanks very much, uh, Sudarshana. Glad to be here in the commentary box, looking out over what is going to be a fantastic encounter, no doubt. The league decider, it's going to be something that uh, will be decided in this 70 minutes. We'll know at the end of this 70 minutes who will win the league. We were here in the first weekend of the league, Sudarshan, where we saw St. Peter's beating Royal in what was a very decisive moment in that entire league campaign. And here we are, Bella, in the final weekend of the league championship as well. Still no closer to finding out who's going to win it. Yes, absolutely, uh, Shanaka. So have a look at the wonderful panoramic view of uh, the St. Peter's grounds. But if you, you just need to be at the grounds, isn't it, to just understand the tension that's uh, prevailing in there. As we can see, the crowds piling up at the gates to try and get in. As uh, Sudarshan earlier mentioned, a lot of commotion just outside the ground. But uh, fairly sure things will settle down and everyone will be able to get into the ground and enjoy a good game of rugby. Right. Uh, so. Uh Interestingly, last week uh, is when a lot of teams uh, thought uh, that they they were just going through the motions. But AC uh, Patna College met one of their fierce rivals, Royal College, in the Major Milroy Fernando Trophy. A lot of doubt was there with the Royal will be able to try and match up to AC Patna after that moral high of winning the Bradby. But boy, didn't Royal turn up at the uh, Royal Complex and make sure that they were going to put DC Patana down and make sure that they were going to dominate this encounter. They certainly did and I thought it was an outstanding game of rugby. I managed to catch it actually live on the Papare uh, coverage and enjoyed listening to the two of you gentlemen call this game and it was tension from start to finish and that's exactly what uh, we expect from a neutral fan watching this game and I think that's what we'll get but the Royal forwards like we spoke about in the second leg of the Bradby Abdullah that defense just too much for anyone to take. Yeah, that's right. And if the Peterites were watching this game, they will also probably be able to have taken a few cues and few tips on how to nullify the Peterite attack. Because I thought the Royals' uh, three-quarter line defense uh, was very good. And uh, once the, the threat was nullified, uh, Isipatna rather just did not seem to have a game plan B to go to. So if they're able to do that today as, uh, is, as well, I'm sure the Peterites will go a long way in uh, winning this league. Again, something that worked against Isi Patan was the fact that their, dis their discipline, when it comes to uh, their defensive lines, did uh, did not support their cause of winning this one. Nabil Yaya having a brilliant day, five penalties. When was the last time we saw five penalties being scored? This league managed to dominate that game and Royal winning that one. 22 points uh, to 17. It was a dominant performance by Royal College, especially their defensive work. And uh, St. Peter's will take a lot of heart, especially given the fact that only 10 tries have been ever scored in this league against St. Peter's College. So they have a very good defensive uh, aspect as well. Isipatan, on the other hand, I thought was, uh, they were coming off a two-week break to play against the team who were on, on the run. And the high-intensity game pattern and, and the fast-running rugby pattern that Isipatan has, you got to make sure that you hold on to that rhythm, Shanak. And it's always difficult when you are a schoolboy team to have that rhythm coming after a two-week break. I think the two-week break would have been a bit of an issue because they hadn't had any hard-hitting rugby the week before. But also in the season, Sudarshana, it was the first time Isipatana had really been put under pressure. The only game that in the first round they could have been under a little bit of pressure was against St. Joseph's. But in that game, they scored really early. They scored a fantastic try through Randimal really early in that game. And they were in the driving seat from the front. 
so they never had to chase a game they never had to really encounter a tough set of forwards who are willing to grind the game out put isipatana back in their own 22 and just really strangle the life out of this fast running team so i think that was the first time that isipatana had come across that they will be better for the experience but as abdella was saying i think st peters watching that game against royal will have a lot of notes and i'm sure sanat martis would have made all those notes uh, to make sure that they don't go that way again Unlike Kisipatana College, uh, St. Peter's College had a wonderful outing here at uh, Bambalapiti against uh, St. Anthony's. We'll try and take a look at uh, that footage in a minute. Abdullah, like Sanaka mentioned, it was the f- set of forwards who really put their head down and made sure Royal College dominated Isipatana. So the Isipatana forwards will want to make sure that they front up to this big beat right back. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, that would probably be the difference between the both teams. You probably uh, feel that the Pete Wrights have a slight edge when it comes to the forwards, just like as it was last week. Uh, but the Pete Wrights, you'd have to say, looked really good against against St. Anthony's uh, last week. They were extremely clinical. Uh, they hardly put a foot wrong, I thought. Uh, although they were not tested to the maximum, but yet I thought the way they went about their business, there was a sense of professionalism to it. They knew that they had another decider. In the first half, they piled on the points, got into a lead, and uh, from then on, of course, uh, there was no uh, coming back for the Antonians. So in that respect, I think the Peter Wrights will also come probably a relatively fresher and probably in a much better headspace than what uh, Isipatana did uh, after their loss to Royal. But at the same time, we've got to keep in mind that sometimes there's nothing like a loss to just spur you on. So Peter Wrights will have to bring their A game. If they do that, you'd have to say that they hold an edge. Adding on to something that you mentioned, um, Abdullah, I think, uh, Shanaka, what was impressive about the Beat Tried victory here was the fact that they knew exactly what they wanted to do. They weren't celebrating despite getting 29 points in the first half. They knew they had to make sure that they kept their focus on the next week, on to the next one. And the St. Peter's want to win this one as unbeaten champions. And there's no doubt about it. And uh, this man, Sudesh Jai Vikrama, is going to be crucial to their chances of doing that because uh, defensively they are a very, very good uh, centre combination. Sudesh Jai Vikrama and Yumit Shahar. Well, that's one area that I think maybe Royal were a little better uh, in st- ahead of uh, St. Peter's. I thought uh, Gamanayak and Kalyanaratna were a little bit better than the speed right duo of Jai Vikrama and Yumit. And that's something that they're going to have to really work on today or would have worked on in the last week to make sure that they keep these threatening Isipatana uh, midfield down. So that's what's something that I think we will have to uh, make sure that Isipatana try and exploit if they can exploit it. But if not, then I think it's going to be a very interesting game because you speed right finishers, you saw the first try that they scored and this try as well. The wingers look like they're really on form. Abdel and you give them one-on-one against his Isipatana wingers and the wingers would have met their match. I know Rinesh, Rinesh Silva and Heshan Randimal have been outstanding this season in attack, but they're going to be tested in defence this time for the first time probably. Yes, most definitely. But also I think it's important that the Peter Wright forwards will need to set that platform, isn't it? Try and attack around the fringes, draw the Isipatana defence closer and just put them under pressure. Now last week, while Isipatana scored two tries, Royal just crossed the line once. But they managed to apply enough pressure to draw those penalties and uh, for, from, for Royal's good fortune, the place kicker was uh, on song. Uh, so it's not just about scoring tries, it's also about making your tackles, applying pressure. And I think St. Peter's will have to do that constantly because Isipatana do, if the three quarters do get a bit of an upper hand, the confidence will build and once they get into their rhythm and of course we know the Isipatana crowd gets behind them, they're going to be very hard to stop. So I'm sure all those little things are going to come in play in this game. And uh, I think all, all in all, what a wonderful conclusion to what has been a wonderful uh, dialogue rugby league. And that's another aspect that uh, we're going to have to look at in this game as, as well because it's probably going to be quite tight. And coming down to those small margins, so place kicking is another aspect of the game I think that uh, we will need to talk about between these two teams. We've had Rene Silva who has been pretty good off the spot. But for St. Peter's, they've been shuffling between a couple of kickers. So we'll have to wait and see who gets the first knot today and whether he's able to keep up uh, with the pressure that will be exerted today. And also another interesting fact about this game is that uh, if St. Peter's College win this one, if Isipatan of course win this one, there is a, there is a, no uh, difficult mathematics involved. 
Isipatana will be champions, St. Peter's will be runners up, Royal third, St. Anthony's fourth. But if St. Peter's College win this one with a margin of eight points or higher, Isipatana might drop down to third position. And if Royal can win their game against the Antonians with a bonus point, they will become league runners up. So, Isipatana, it's absolutely important for them to win this one because they will not want this season to end up being the third place team in the Dialogue Schools Rugby League. Yes, so they're playing for either first and to not become third. So first, second or third are all options for Isipatana. So they've got it all in their hands. So that's the good thing about this game, uh, Sudarshana, because both teams coming into this match, it's in their control what happens. If they win the game, they go on and become champions and that's the kind of league decider that we've come to expect and the league decider that we'd like to see. And this is what they will be playing for. Dialogue Schools Rugby League 2023. What a league we've had, gentlemen. They are the first round. We thought that Group 1A would be the closer one. Whereas uh, Group 2A turned out to be the more keenly contested one with uh, Royal College, St. Peter's, Trinity College, Zahira College, Dharmaraj, Vidyartha and also Science College in World Whereas on the other side, Isipatana College pretty much had a very, very dominant run in, the, in that league, uh, in, in that group rather, with uh, teams like St. Anthony's, DSN, Anayaka College, St. Joseph's, all and St. Thomas's all being around that mark but not really managing to threaten Isipatana. Yeah, I think on form and looking at the names on paper, Anyone would have been excused for thinking Group 1A was going to be the more formidable group. But you have to take your hats off to the likes of Zahira, to the likes of even Trinity, who weren't really a fancy team coming into the league, who managed to do the business. And, and let's face it, they're the ones who made sure that Royal are not going to win this league, because if, they, if Royal hadn't lost that first leg of the Bradby, then for sure they would still be in the running. So there are teams that came up and did stuff that they were not expected to do, and that happened in uh, Group uh, 1, uh, Group 2A, which really was a fantastic group. And it was the pressure that both Royal and St. Peter's were accustomed to that came through in this second round. They managed to demolish the Antonians, who had been quite dominant in that uh, first group and in the second group as well. I think it's, it showed very clearly that Isipatana were not used to that kind of pressure in their group, which is why they came under. Very interesting uh, fact you mentioned, uh, Shanak. I think the, the dialogue uh, marketing events team will be very, very thankful to Friendly College for making sure that Royal doesn't have a chance in winning this one because otherwise, with that trophy, they would have had to park somewhere close to K-Gold on deciding where to go because uh, they or get another replica of that and send one to Candy as well. And we at the Papare.com would have been in a real fix because we would have had to uh, scale up both these uh, games in order to make sure uh, who wins, uh, whoever wins uh, the league will get the coverage that they deserve. But here we are, all roads today lead to Bambalapitya, all eyes will be on Bambalapitya and will make sure that they will support their teams to glory. What we'll do now is we'll go for a short commercial break and when we come back we will be ready with the team in introduction and we'll be minutes away from the all-important kickoff of this Dialogue Schools Rugby League 2023 League Decider. Big shaving form. Atvitiya hai sakata. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z Z. We K Y C. Easy. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us.
Enjoy them. Welcome back to the live action brought to you from uh, the Bumble, the PTS St. Peter's College Sports Complex. Very interesting round here. Uh, the Petrites have uh, Shanagas because not many school grounds can boast of a rugby stadium which can be used as a football football grounds, a cricket uh, grounds and also a 400 meter track that they have here alongside a basketball court and also a tennis court to go with it. Uh, so the Petrites need to consider themselves very very lucky to have all those facilities right next to their school in the heart of Colombo. Well, I can think of another one, Sudarshana. It may not be in the heart of Colombo, but uh, it's not too far down Gaul Road. But uh, the crowd's uh, coming in to this very special ground, as you've just mentioned, and it's filling up to the brim. Uh, people still queuing up outside to get in. I must say, very thorough security checks being conducted by the Peters organizers. And this is Isipathana's stand. They will be waiting, biting on their fingernails. None of them would have expected to go down to Royal last week. They would have wanted to come into this also unbeaten, but that's not the case. But the good thing for Isipathana still is that they still have a chance of winning the league if they win today. So that really has uh, set us up nicely. And it has just created a little bit more atmosphere now that Isipathana has been beaten. There has been a, an air of... Uh, vulnerability about this Isipathana team which will give the Peters fans a lot more hope and we've seen that over social media over the past week and think St. Peters really believe that they will be unbeaten champions today. Yes, I think uh, the Petrites are chasing their first league title since 2010 out uh, since the victory that they got through Keita Guru Singh in uh, 2010. 13 years of waiting and here they have a chance to win it at home. Isipathan on the other hand, they lost their first game since 2019 last week. So they will be hurting. They will want to make sure that they cap it up and they, they forget about uh, losing Major Milroy Fernando Trophy with a league title. This team had a mission before the start of the season to make sure that they go the distance and be triple champions. They kept the first step of becoming Sri Lanka schools under 19 seventh champions. They are on route to be really putting up a challenge to become league champions and come next week, they will start off their campaign for the knockout. Abdullah, honest opinion and honest uh, prediction of uh, what you think might happen today. I, I, I know it's going to be a very close one to call, but uh, what do you think uh, will happen today? Who has the advantage in this game? But you'd have to go for St. Peter's, isn't it, Sudarshan, uh, with no disrespect to Isipathana. Uh, because the fact of the main thing is they're playing at home. That's always a significant advantage for a big game like this. Uh, you also think that they probably have the slightly better all-round team going by the composition of both teams. So that will definitely play a part. Uh, and also the fact that Isipathana, after that tough defeat to Royal, what kind of psychological impact that has had on the team uh, will also come into play as this game wears on. So all, taking all those factors into play, you'd obviously have to say Peters are the slight favourites, but you can never say uh, it's a big occasion. We've seen Isipathana, the history they have, they're able to lift themselves up for these games. So, uh, yeah, let's wait and see. I think overall we'll be in for a wonderful game. Well, I do think it was correct of me to ask Abdullah, who will have a little bit of vested interest, if St. Peters wins uh, Royal College, can still become uh, league runners-up. Shanaka, Isipathana, we know, yes, they've gone down. They are not as rounded as uh, the Petrite outfit. But uh, 
Isi Patani is a team that wants to get results. They are a team who knows to play in those big moments, big games to absorb pressure and to make sure that they exert it on the opponents. What, who do you do you think do you also believe that St. Peter's are the more fancy team over the green machine here at the league decider? I think I have to agree completely with Abdella. It's very rarely that I disagree with him on matters of rugby and I think that he's absolutely spot on in saying with home ground advantage with the kind of the size of the forwards that St. Peter's have had and uh, the emotional low or that Isipatana hit last week, you would have to say that the confidence and the the, um, the momentum is with St. Peter's going into this game. But Isipatana have some X-factor players, uh, Sudarshana. And if the ball can get into their hands, that back three, Hache and Randemal, Kalindu, and also Silva, if they can get the ball into their hands, not to mention, of course, Muhammad Zumbri, Navin Kanishka, another very good player at number 10, who I thought was below par against Royal. If he can do the business and lead that team the way that we expect him to lead, then perhaps Isipatana will be able to spring a surprise. But as Abdella said, if Isipatana win today, it will be slightly an underdog winning rather than the favourites winning. Well, when you call a team who uh, played seven games, won six and underdog, you know we have a cracker lacking game on the cards. Dulaj Navodya already getting in on the act and now already trying to get in on the opposition members but uh, those lucky mascots will remember this moment uh, for a long long time the young Patriots who are escorting uh, their first 15 players uh, who are escorting all the all important members of St. Peter's College who will be wrapping them in the middle will be uh, remember this for a long long time to come It's really nice to see that uh, the school's rugby arena there mirroring what happens in the international arena as well. I just remember that the flags are perhaps on the opposite side, so they've got I to believe face that, them. I believe that was uh, the intervention of the photographers there. You can turn uh, anywhere you like, but according to where the sun is, the photographers will dictate where you need to be looking, and that's exactly what's happening there telling them, uh, mate, yes, I know you want to look at uh, the crowds who come here to support you, but um, the picture will look much nicer if you turn this way. Well, that's an interesting one. Backing the flags and the national flag, that's, uh, that's new. But of course, the light dictates everything these days, doesn't it? The dignitaries and uh, the invitees Joining the introduction, uh, the guest of honor of the game, Mr. Tamir Dimel, uh, a very prominent old boy of St. Peter's College, being introduced uh, to the Isipatana College team, uh, followed by Father Rector of uh, St. Peter's College. say nice and warm it's pretty warm and humid here at uh, Bumble a bit here will will the heat be a factor uh, for these two teams especially to easy button who like to run the ball and who, who like to play that fast paced game it certainly will be a factor so Darshanel, it has been a factor throughout the season but what I think is that uh, what it will do is make the game open out a little bit in the last 20 minutes and uh, that's when we will see whether St. Peter's have had enough bench strength and that's another area I think we perhaps didn't mention that the St. Peter's College bench maybe have a little bit more experience and a little bit more size to call on towards the end of the game. So uh, that's going to be another factor in deciding who comes up trumps. The Patriot team being introduced to uh, the guests of honor. Representatives from uh, Sri Lanka Schools Rugby Football Association as well as uh, dignitaries from uh, St. Peter's College who have been uh, invited as uh, the crowd join in uh, to spell their respective teams names and uh, to make sure 
that they get behind they become a factor in this all important encounter they see partner friends similar to uh, the indian fans wherever you may go in the world you'll find them backing their team turning out in numbers to make sure that they back the green machine the green machine versus the bamba brigade that's what we have today as captain madugaske walks down the line high fiving his entire contingent good show of confidence Rodri from Peter's side. Sipatana look very much like they know that they're going to be up against it today. Yes, the build-up to this game has been uh, quite interesting, isn't it? Uh, Sudarshan, you've been in the middle of uh, organizing and putting this uh, to the showpiece together. Uh, I'm sure that uh, people, not just in Sri Lanka, but you just sense the uh, old boys even living beyond these shows, uh, really looking forward to this game. Quite rightly so, it's uh, the league decider. A lot on the line. Both these teams, you have to have, say, have produced some really good rugby uh, this uh, season and deserved uh, to be in this uh, league decider, as it were. So, uh, overall, I think. Uh, Everyone, uh, the entire rugby fraternity will uh, look forward uh, to a very uh, interesting and fast-paced game. I think we want to see the ball in play as much as possible. Both these teams enjoy upping the pace and playing the game at uh, with a lot of width. So I think uh, we'll be in, in for a really interesting game. For sure, we'll be in uh, for a very, very interesting one because uh, like you mentioned, the fast-paced aspect will be from uh, Isipatana College. On the other hand, St. Peter's College will be hoping that they can spoil, that they can slow the game down. They will revel in the conditions of making sure that they capitalize on uh, they ca capitalize on the slow ball and make sure that they slow it up. But what we'll do now is we'll cross over for the school anthems of the, both these teams.
Wales in renditions of uh, the two school anthems as uh, both the teams uh, get ready to rumble. Let's take a look at uh, the two team cards. Here's the EC Patina College team card, Hasindu Senut Sen. Senut Senaratna and Kavin Tarusha making up uh, the front row for Isipatana College. Uh, the locks for them will be Mihisar Hetiaraji and Tinitra Dudangoda, uh, the brother of uh, Surya Dudangoda, who was impressive last season for Isipatana College. The third row for Isipatana, Abdul Ahmad Dunit Jayavira and Erosion Kamage making up uh, that third row. Nisa Jayavira, Dunit Diabira will be very important uh, for Isi Patana College when it comes to ball carrying. Shehandu Costa and Navik Kanishka are going to be the halfback combination. And in the centers, they have uh, Chirat Boteju and Zahid Somri. This is going to be their main point of attack for Isi Patana College. The back three for Isi Patana will be Hashin Randimal and Ta Rinesh Silva alongside Kalindu Silva. And all three of them like to run going to be a very impressive back three and if uh, Shahid Zumri is fit and firing expect some special things from him Jahan Veerabangsa Medusara Vishmika Ranitu Ridmal are the front row for St. Peter's you can see the 90 kilos 80 kilos and 115 kilos in uh, the front row Pawan Himansha Shanuka Pereira 5'9 and 5'10 so not the biggest second row uh, forwards going around but that uh, front row will add a lot of weight and here are the boys who will be looking to wreak havoc Aiden Fernando Dulaj Navodhya and Ashay and Mad Madhugaspe, the captain. In the halves combination, Salit Gallage and Vindya Dimel will be the 9 and 10. And this is where Isipatan will be looking to break uh, St. Peter's down. But Sudesh Jayavikrama, brother of Sandesh Jayavikrama, and has been outstanding this season. Yumet Shihara also has been probably the lesser known of this uh, combination, but still has been very, very good for St. Peter's this season. And this is the danger men, Pasindu Takshila and Dinet Ranasing on the left and right wings have been excellent finishers one on one. And will they be able to uh, do the business today? Kushan Tarindu has been the highest point scorer for St. Peter's. And he too is somebody who likes to counter attack, someone who likes to run from the back. And will the Isipatana kicking game, will that put him under pressure? Do Isipatana have a kicking game? We'll find out over the next 70 minutes. The substitutes for both the teams are uh, Janaka Sudipa, Sachin Arul Das, Ravon Pereira, Sandeep Kularatna, Pranit Silva, Emit Jaiver, Visheka Silva, and Suleiman Riaz for St. Peter's. For Isi Patana, Lasita Mapita Gamadam, Hiru Rajapaksa, Shakib Sumri, Gesan Dumanet, Yuvindu Koditua, Kositu Pabomet, Avishka Hiran, and Abdul Aziz making up the 23 for Isi Patana College. The men in charge, the men that uh, will be calling shots. Sishan Kabekon, the one in the middle, will be the man uh, handed the whistle, the hand of the responsibility of marshalling these two teams. Gihan Yatavar and Arnashant will be assisting them with Irshad Kader functioning as uh, the television match official of the day. Going to be an interesting day for them for sure as well. The good thing about this St. Peter's College ground is that there's not a lot of proximity to the referees from the crowd and that's always good having refereed a few games i can tell you that refereeing at uh, havelock park and crnfc is uh, can be quite a challenge but st peter's grounds now with this new pavilions are a lot safer for the referees uh, especially in terms of the stuff that you have to hear from the crowd I believe uh, the referees, uh, just as you mentioned, that there is no close proximity. Seems like the crowd has encroached aside of the ground and the referees will not start the game up until that crowd is cleared. There you go. The crowd in front of, uh, the, crowd in front of uh, the barricades, they need to go back and the referees will not start the game up until that crowd clears from there. Plenty of measures were taken earlier. This is not ideal, isn't it, for the coaches, for the players who've uh, timed it to perfection on when they want to kick start, when, when the kickoff will be. They will want to make sure that they Captain. get this game off to a kickoff as soon as they possibly can because that is going to mess up with their timing when it comes to warm up. 
certainly does, Abdullah. I'm sure you'll remember last year's or last time's World Cup final in 2019. England's bus got delayed 20 minutes, so it happens everywhere as Navin Kanishta kicks off the league decider. And we're go going at Bambalipitiya. Taken by Shihara. Chooses to have the first breakdown inside the 22 to give St. Peter's that ability to clear on the full but they're forced to run it in the under their posts and here's a little bit of space opening up but a good tackle from Gamage looked like uh, the high tackle was the call from referee Shankabe Kun that'll be a very interesting uh, replay because uh, Initial thought uh, of many was that it was a legal tackle, but uh, referees are very, very strict about uh, how they adjudicate uh, the high tackle. Uh, boys, center back, center back. St. Peter's College with an opportunity to try and uh, form an attack. Here's the replay. Well, he did uh, grab him around the shoulder. Nothing dangerous about it, but by the letter of the law, it might have been a baby seat belt tackle. But uh, referee Shankar Bekun means that he's set his stall out early, which means that he needs to be consistent with those tackles now for the rest of the 69 minutes. Nice steal off the front by Ahmed. But the referee says that the gap was closed in front. And I think he would be right this time as he jumps across. He's a dangerous defensive jumper, the Isipatana number six, Abdul Ahmed. They're using him to put some pressure, but although this concedes a free kick, it will put a little bit of doubt in the minds of the Isipat uh, in, uh, the St. Peter's hooker, Methusara. Yeah, that's right. Now, that's the second instance where the Peterites have uh, managed to just uh, falter at the key moments. They were under a bit of pressure. Uh, they managed to okay, get out of it via that wing three quarters run. They got a penalty. Now here again, Isipata managed to spoil that line out, but uh, getting it probably not uh, legitimately. Fine. So two reprieves uh, for St. Peter's. They've just got to be a bit careful that uh, they don't take any more chances and be more clinical in the execution. First set piece of the game. Off the back goes Navodhya. Isipata defense up pretty quickly. Bustling run there by Pawan. And here it is now opening up for Patana, uh, for Peters rather. And here's the space. Lovely little snipe by Gal again. But the penalty goes the opposite way. And Isi Patana celebrating. Perhaps they should realize that they're in the first three minutes of the game. And they should probably leave the celebrations till later. But it's again, as Abdella was pointing out, Isi uh, St. Peters have coughed it up at a key moment. Well, just like uh, the English, uh, isn't it, uh, celebrating every turnover, every penalty that they get. But Isipatara College will be focused to make sure that once they get into the opposition half, to try and put pressure on St. Peter's College and to make sure they come back with points. Isipatana are known to do that. They, they like to run the ball. All they have will have to do is to make sure that they try and get this one securely. And if they can use their backs, they are golden. They will want to make sure that they put St. Peter's under pressure inside their red zone. Good on, good up. Won that nicely. Not a good ball for Zumri to take, but let's see what he can create. Chooses to go down sensibly and create another phase. Nice carry that time by Kavin Tarusha. Navin Kanishka with a nice flat ball across to Gamage. Gamage breaks the first line of defense. Kanishka again. Here's Tarusha. Props have carried strongly already. De Costa. Good ball handling that time. It was not a good pass. De Costa to Navin Kanishka this time. Stepping back in field was... Uh, the Isipatana player, but he came in behind one of his own teammates. So an accidental offside call. We've seen it all in this first four and a half minutes. 
But the thing with that passage of play was Isipatnev was just unable to get any front football, isn't it? That Peter Wright defense was rushing up and just constantly hitting Isipatnev behind their own game line. So as a result, the three quarters were unable to get any forward momentum and eventually re uh, resulting in that uh, accidental Cut. offside. So some really good uh, defensive work by uh, the Isipatnev team. Uh, by the Peter Wright team, Set. rather. Steady. Another scrum for St. Peter's. Dulaj Navodia this time uses his flanker to go on the blind side. Cutting back infield and keeping the ball alive that time was Bandara. Here it is to that big set of Peter's forwards who will love to run at these fringes all day. Jaya Vikrama, nice long ball over the top. Tipped on beautifully by uh, Yumet and now lovely inside ball to Yumet Chihara. Yumet Chihara for the line. Yumet Chihara will score the first try. Well, just like that, the home team is in front. First broken play, first opportunity for St. Peter's College. They pounce on it. A little bit of handbags thrown here and there, and that's to be expected in a high stakes game like this. Referees wanting uh, the both teams to get away from each other. Number 12, number 12. But uh, what a run from Yumit Chihar, and it all came down to that incredible pass from Sudesh Chai Vikrama. A long cutout pass to the captain, winger captain. who created that captain. opportunity for Shihara. Shihara running in a very straight, nice line. Captain, Saw captain, the space captain. and attacked. Captain. Let's take a moment to appreciate captain. Dineth Ranasinghe as captain, well. Captain. It was a lovely one-handed infield flick, Abdella, right into the hands Number of three. Shihara. So he didn't have to Number break three. pace at all. And it was a lovely run. We'll see it again after we figure out what's happened here. Yes, that support line wasn't okay. it on the inside what? pass so it's we have some really good communication as well but but there again uh, Shanaka the difference was Peter Peter Wright's okay. managed okay. to get okay. over okay. the game okay. line okay. and just put that easy part okay. defense a bit on the back foot and just that little bit made okay. that difference isn't it because uh, when you're running okay. on front so football so sorry. So sorry. just gives you much better opportunity to try and uh, oh well double trouble double blow for easy part in a college Chami Duchirat has been sent to the bin for something that is done after the try being scored. So double blow for Isipatana. They've conceded five points as Yumit Shihara readies to add two points extra for his own try. But they've now lost a man in the middle. I think both the coaches would do well to just send out a message to the players to just calm down, isn't it? You can understand emotions are running high in such a crucial game, but you've got to channel those emotions properly. If not, you can see what has happened to Isipatana. They'll be down to, 10, uh, down to 14 players for the next 10 minutes. And in a key area of the midfield as well. So that's going to be a huge problem for them. And it's over, so it's seven points. Yume Chihara converting his own try, scoring seven points. He will never forget this moment. Lovely bit of work uh, finishing that move off and uh, added, adds the extras as well. Here's a replay. This is the ball from Jaya Vikrama. It was a 50 50 pass, and it was. Zumri, I think, that flew up and it was a nice flick on and Rana Singh did really well to get that ball back in field. Yeah. And that's a good clearance. That's really good play for Misipatana. Very sensible to get themselves out of trouble. Kalindu. Now to Kanishka. Rinesh Silva touching the ball for the first time. We know he's got that devastating right foot step and that's a red probably. Okay. They're playing on but they'll come back for it i'm sure taken quickly but i'm sure the television match official no, will no, take no. a look at that uh Shanaka. there is no bunker here at the bumble of here but they will take a look at that issue button wanted to make sure that they capitalize on that opportunity zumri has stared down and that was a lift it was a tip tackle and the starting position for that 
we all know what happened to George Moala over the week. Ten week ban, Shana. Ten week ban for a tip tackle. His uh, World Cup is uh, pretty much over. But. Uh, Rene Silva gets up and goes back. And. Uh, Looks like all's quiet on the Western Front. Are any foul there? Oh well. <laughs> oh well. It's only a matter of what color the card is going to be, Shanaka. There is no question that it's going to be a any card. Last moment. Referee Shankar Bekon. Referring it to uh, the television match official. Crucial moment of the game here. Referee Shankar Bekun right on the spot. Happened right in front of his eyes. Came down on his shoulder. His hips were lifted way above his head. And I'm surprised referee Shankar Bekun had to ask whether there was foul. I want to see the number. The only consultation I would do there, Shankar, is to make sure which color card would come out. Television match official now taking a look at that. That could have ended very badly for Dinesh Silva. So, uh, can I have another angle for the... I want to see the number. Uh, just wait for the decision. Ishanka, I want to see the number. Ref Ricardo wanted to make sure that he gets the number of the player right. Well, in no uncertain terms, there was a slam. It was a slam okay, to the Shankar. ground. Yes, got it. it might be Jahan Veerabangsa that we're looking at here. Number two, actually, yes, it's Methusara. Shankar. So number two, uh, uh, number two, St. Peter's. That's uh, you made uh, about the yellow uh, uh, you know, card and just penalty. Penalty uh, and yellow card. St. Peter's number two. Number two? Peters. Dangerous tackles. Yellow. yellow card. Yeah, number two, ye number two. Okay, thanks. St. Peter's yellow card. Yes, I think uh, yellow card was the call from the, the television uh, match official who will take a look. Uh, I think uh, there shouldn't be any argument or any protest for that from uh, the Peters captain because the card could have been much worse. I think uh, probably the safe option Thank you. taken by everyone concerned. Vinesh Silva is safe, which is the only thing that really matters in that entire exchange. Metusara Vishmika. Count himself pretty lucky he's not going into an early shower. So the numbers balanced now, Sean. 14 against 14. Isipatana with a penalty. Can they get that seven points and match match it up against uh, the Petroids here at home? I have to wait and see. Coach! Interesting that they've called for a scrum, isn't it, uh, Sudarshan? Fine! Isipatana have Set. one less in the line Set. as against Peters in the pack, Set. so interesting to see uh, what they have up their sleeve. Well, they've had to send a back row off, Abdullah. So it's an interesting call. This is the man who would have otherwise been in the scrum, Dunit Jayavira. Okay. Now in Kanishka with a little chip over the top. Where is this ball going to bounce? It goes off the hand of Green, so that foray ends. And St. Peter's will have a defensive scrum. Well, just not even 10 minutes into this game, we've had absolutely everything, Shanaka, like you mentioned. 
We've had a Tiumu referral as well. We have two cards. Lucky for the benefit of the Six. game that it wasn't another Ready. color that was awarded. Six. St. Peter's under pressure. Vindya Demel thumps it downfield into the hands of Kalindi, who is a dangerous runner. Gets the ball out to Hashen Randhimal. Randhimal does well to step back infield to Rene Silva. Lovely tackle on him back. from behind. Back. Offside, penalty advantage. Line offside. Here's Dinusara. St. Peter's had been spotted offside, so Isipatana will have the penalty advantage. De Costa surveys his options now and opts to go to Dunit Jayavira, the big number eight. Navin Kanishka calls for it on the open side. Abdul. No advantage at the referee, so he will come back. And I would think that Isipatana would probably take the points here. When they go for that, uh, Rene Silva has been uh, a second option for Isipatana College, and they would have they would have uh, learned the lesson from what Royal did last weekend, where they piled up on the points, and every time you get the scoreboard ticking, that's going to add a lot of pressure on the opposition side. It's especially in final finals forty, isn't it? Points on the board is absolutely critical, but also just interesting to see fourteen on fourteen. Who would it benefit more? You'd have to say slightly, Zipatari, isn't it? Because there will obviously be much more room to run about. I think uh, the next five or six minutes could be crucial uh, for them to try and get a score before the full complement of players uh, get onto the field. It's a very distinctive kicking style that Silva has, the youngest of the Silva brothers. And it's straight through the uprights and straight over the Archibald Pereira stand here at Bambalapitiya. And Isipatana on the scoreboard, still very much in deficit, but finally on the scoreboard. It's taken 11 minutes for them to get their first three points. Second week back to back, Isipatana are chasing the game, and uh, this time around they will be uh, they will be very much determined to make sure that they try and chase St. Peter's up before they go into half time and go into the half time with the advantage. Yes, Kushan Tarindu. Nice hanging kick taken by Rene Silva. Probably the most elusive runner on the pitch. And he manages to get the ball to Zumri. Probably the most creative runner on the pitch. Who takes it up to halfway. Flings it back inside through the chicken wing. And here's Dorangoda. Who is dragged eventually into touch. But Isipatan have run it back. 40 meters. Well, you just sense a slight shift in momentum in this game, isn't it? First few minutes, you send that Peter Wrights were having the upper hand, but uh, from the time that tackle was made, Isipatan just seemed to have got a lift after uh, the Peter Wright uh, hooker was sent to the sin bin. So it's important, as we were discussing earlier, that the Peter that Isipatan capitalize on uh, this 14 on 14 uh, passage of play. Luckily for St. Peter's College, it's not uh, Netosara who is the thrower of the line out, it's Dulaj Namo, the number, the number eight. So they are not. Uh, Crippled in that department, they'll be very thankful for that. Nicely won by Shanuka. And this is where St. Peter's will look to spend as much time as possible with a man in the sin bin. Garlage to Dimel. And here's the danger man, Yumit Shihara. Lovely ball away from Jayavikrama as well. And now a little bit of space opening up for Pasindu Bandar. Get back! Garlage finally gets there. Play on! No! It's knocked Go forward. Dodam Goda. Thinks about running it. The ball was kicked away, so as soon as you kick possession away, 
Referees are obliged to call advantage over. So perhaps uh, Kalindu should have thought about that kick a little bit more. So we have a look at that knock on again. Just uh, the pit rights need to be a bit careful when they turn position around uh, in open play because uh, know how uh, potent uh, that easy pattern uh, counter attack is. Well, that was knocked straight, and uh, referee Abekon privy to it. And interestingly, St. Peter's College, who are pretty decent when it comes to their line out, with uh, Nawud, they're one of their more responsible players taking opportunity to throw the ball in uh, making a mistake that will be at the back of their minds now whenever they Five. have to touch kick to touch Six. De Costa a little bit of a strike play bringing Hasha and Randimal off that blind side wing no 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 release now Release was the call from referee Abe Kuhn and the Pete Wright tackler just took a second too long. There's one thing the Isipatana three-quarters like to do is they like to bring the blindside wingers into play, isn't it? We saw uh, Ranesh Silva scoring that wonderful try against Royal last week as they were coming from the blind wing. And this time the other wing three-quarter coming from the blind as well. So that's an area that inside shoulder which, uh, is, uh, which St. Peter's will need to keep a close eye on. Be good to see that again, just to see whether Isipatana got the rub of, pardon the pun, the green. Great machine wanted to make sure that they keep the scoreboard ticking. Has opted to go for league's highest point scorer, who now has 80 points to his name, Silva. Lining this one up. 25 meters with the angle and uh, this time around not successful but the good thing is it's uh, a missed opportunity but you will get back possession of a 22 meter dropout and Isipatana would love to run from anywhere they catch that ball well that's a crucial miss isn't it to get six points during the sin bin time when you've got one of your key players in the bin as well would have been really good for Isipatan, an uncharacteristic miss from uh, Rene Silva, who's generally pretty accurate. It's a good dropout. Takes Isipatan 60 meters away from the line. Navin Kanishka opting to go himself that time. Like to see him do a little bit more of that. Run with the ball, the captain. Dunit Jayavira. <laughs> Too many rolls from Dunit Jayavira. And you can see the Peter's bench having absolutely no hesitation, pointing to the posts more than anything else, just to kill some time. Yes, it's uh, important that they try and get those three points. Ten points to three reads much, much better than seven points to three. And they have a man in the bench as well. Isipatana has have been restored to their original number. Fifteen against uh, fourteen now. Shihar was successful with his uh, first attempt at goal and they are giving him confidence as well to try out uh, another, this one from a distance though. This is just uh, short of the halfway mark but as we saw last week it's well within his range isn't it? Uh, it's a very good uh, striker of the ball. Gets the direction right, uh, you'd fancy him uh, putting this right through the uprights. Looks like he may have just pulled it wide of the right hand upright. But it won't matter because they know that Isipatana will have to kick to them. And they will have the opportunity to run right back into that 22. League winning head coach won titles. Get behind, Get behind. Mainly with Get behind. Royal College in the last decade or so. Plenty of them. Yes, dominated uh, 
back in 2006, 7, 8 uh, with St. Peter's College. But you ask uh, Sanat Mardis what is his most coveted title that he has. He says the one he won with St. Anne's College in Kurunagala. That's a lovely spot. Outstanding kick. 50-22. Really good spot from the Pete Wright player. It's wonderful vision, isn't it? Just identifying the space. The wing is where the wings had come up. Fullback was in center field, not anticipating that kick. And this is Jai Vikrama who uh, planted that kick from uh, second receiver position. So definitely doing the per playmaker's role to perfection. Interesting time here. St. Peter's go to the front. Dulaj Navodhya, can he get it over the line? Yes, he can. Kian Yatavara will have a lot of value to add to referee Shankar Bekun here. Nice. Tell him exactly what happened. He was on the spot. And the referees will be thanking the lucky stars that the television match official is in play. Now. Uh, can you uh, on field decision try? Can you check the ground in please? On field decision is try. We will need to have conclusive side evidence side. whether whether there was any loss forward. Here's now this is the best angle you can get. Oh well did he is there any oh, down angle? Yeah. Well, the interesting thing. But, uh, so that's hey, is we don't need yeah. downward pressure anymore. The ball just needs to be touched down. It needs to be in the control of the player who is touching down. It yeah, can yeah. be touched yeah, down yeah, by yeah. a hand yes. or an arm, but it doesn't need significant uh, yes, downward pressure. Zoom. But if he's lost this forward, which it looks like it might have happened, this is the angle that will tell us. Well, there is nothing from Navodhya's hand which is on top of that ball which would take a look at that that ball when it crosses that line looks like can, it's can, not can, under control can, can of anybody first, first clip. so most probably referee wanted to have a look at that first angle well, and take a look, look at that like hand of the number nine of Isipatana, Costa, making that tackle, making sure that he puts pressure on Navodhya. Well, this is going to be a crucial call, isn't it? I wouldn't want to be in Irshad Kader's shoes, but it looks like we might have a five-meter scrum because that ball looks like it leaves the hands of Navodhya just before it gets touched down. Our camera angle here is a little high. Assistant referee Gihan Yatover, absolutely no position to take a look at this one. Eh? Here's the zoom. Here's the zoom, and this should be for interesting viewing. That's the moment uh, that the ball crosses the line. Well, it's interesting that Yatavara is the one who said it is an on-field try. So it's now good. that changes the game because you've got to have conclusive evidence to overturn it. Uh, you, you may award the try. Okay, thank you. Time on. And the try has been okay. awarded. Yes. As we said, the burden green, of green. proof. As soon as Yatavara, who was behind that ball, said that there was a try on the field, then Irshad Kader needed to be absolutely 100% certain that that ball was not in Dulaj Navodhya's hands, which I think from those replays might have been a little difficult for him to be 100% certain about. So the burden of proof made all the difference here and Dulaj Navodhya will probably have a wry smile as he runs back to his kickoff position. Yes, regardless of that call, you'd have to say that was a wonderful front pre, wasn't it? It pro probably took Isipatana by surprise. They were expecting a driving ball, probably defensively prepared for that. 
but uh, St. Peter's, to their credit, did the unexpected, caught them uh, napping on the front side and uh, managed to uh, get their second score. Yumit Shihara to add the icing on the cake. Two tries to nil in 20 minutes. Can't swing that one around just enough. Farisi Patana will be smarting now. They've conceded two tries. With two thirds of the way into this first half. Listen, it all came about with that 50-22, uh, wasn't it? Uh, Shanika, that uh, wonderful kick by uh, the St. Peter's uh, Jai Vikrama. Just identifying that space, getting the, their own line out and uh, managing to execute a wonderful uh, front peel. So as a result, Peters into the 20th minute are sitting pretty, 12 points to 3, but still a long way to go. Well, nobody wanted to collect that, so it bounces into touch, which means that St. Peters will now have to defend pretty much right across from where they were attacking at the other end of the field. Green, green, Atulan in Nepal, oil, oil lining. Number two, green number two, green number two, hey, let in again. Yeah. Very, very, very clean, very clean, about very clear rather about the gap in, in, in the Nepal. line out, as he must be. Doesn't want anyone jumping across. Nicely won that time by Fernando, Aiden Fernando, and cleared as far as the 40 meter mark. Hashen Randima. Here's the dangerous Silva stepping back in field, but they've marked him. And that ball going across the face of the three quarter line to nobody in particular, but Isipatana lucky to have it back. The Pete Wright defense also rushing up and really causing problems. No, 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 no. Here's no, no, no. backs. Here's Navin Kanishka. And now they've gone a little deeper. Nice little wraparound for Kalindu. Rinesh Silva. Nice exchange there between the 15 and the 14, but Rinesh Silva never released. And was isolated as well. He did get the support there. We would have preferred to secure that ball. Silva conceding that penalty he tried to take that extra second to try and now wait for his supporters to arrive there St. Peter's benefiting from that and that's a very good uh, touch finder from Vinder Dimal who's flown largely under the radar for St. Peter's College in that number 10 jersey but has done yeoman service in controlling the game throughout the season here's a little inside ball from Kalindu Rinesh didn't have any support around him, so he knew Get back. that he would have been problems if he released the ball. And now St. Peter's with their tails up. Now what did he throw in? That time it's stolen, but stolen back by St. Peter's. Pawan pumps his legs, takes back. him towards the goalposts. Gallage, lovely back. long back. ball back. taken. Straight through by Vindya Dimel. Offside is the call from referee Abe Kuhn. So Isipatana will have to set their defense again. And St. Peter's will have an opportunity now. Perhaps to go for a strike play with a scrum. Yes, that will be uh, something St. Peter's College will think about. They've gotten the advantage. They have the points to back it up. 12 points to 3. They are in front with 9 points. If they can try and... If they can try and get another score here, they will put a lot of pressure on uh, this Isipatan outfit in this all-important league decider. Sali Kumara, the man in charge of Isipatan College, the head coach of uh, the outfit, will have a lot of thinking to do and to make sure that he gets his strategy right come the second half and he'll be, he must be thinking on what he wants to tell his charges during that break but interestingly is 
St. Peter's College opting to go for points. Yes, again, as we discussed earlier, Sudarshana, big game, points on the board, crucial. From Peter's point of view, it's just a matter of extending the lead and giving themselves a cushion. And makes no mistake with the penalty. So Peter's Captain. further extend Captain. their lead, 15 points Captain. to 3. Uh, to the 25th minute of play. Yumit Shehara is never going to miss that from that kind of a distance. And as a result, uh, owners very much on Isipatanu to try and get the next score before half time. Well, Yumit Shehara has 10 of his team's 15 points. And you can see exactly why they wanted it. Because as you said, Abdelight's finals footy, every point matters. And when you've got points on offer, you've got to take them. That's the experience of Sanat Martis. That's him going through very, very many league finals to know exactly what to do at the right position. Kanishka now. Thumps this ball downfield and yeah, number six. Karindu Stop. will put that out. It's a good touch finder. So St. Peter's have done something really well here, Abdella, is that they've scored and they've actually handled the restarts pretty well. So that's something that a lot of teams this season haven't been able to do. Yeah, that's right. And they managed to get out of that 22 instantaneously as well. Another important aspect of this uh, game so far, we'll come back to that. Yes, uh, as we remind you about the uh, goal, cool blast, three in wash, hair, body and face wash, which should be an ideal accompaniment uh, for every young athlete. Uh, as Isipathana College try to make something of the line out. Jayavira carrying the ball. Sumbri. So stolen by Sanjay Jayavikrama, Sudesh Jayavikrama rather, and stolen back again. So they're exchanging passes by Zumri. Navin Kanishka, nice flat ball to Senut Dinusar. Ball's gone backwards, says referee Abekun. Lovely counter wrap by St. Peter's flying in there to the breakdown and they win the penalty. Absolutely loaded that breakdown and completely destroyed any forward momentum. Top stop by St. Peter's College. Uh, they're pouncing on that opportunity and ganging up on the partner lads who were converging there. Managing to get that penalty that would have lifted the spirits up of uh, the Bomber Brigade. Just look so far, just even it reflects probably on the scoreboard as well. That probably the main difference is St. Peter's have managed to enjoy much more front football in this game, isn't it? It's Patana, they are forced to go out wide much early because they probably are not getting that front football that they want from a breakdown. And as a result, that are the occasions when they have found themselves isolated, but haven't found enough players at the breakdown. So for me, that's just been the main difference in this game so far. And it's something which is Patana will need to modify and to adjust to if uh, they are to stay in this game because 15-3 uh, in, in a cup final is uh, quite a healthy lead. And it's not just a 15-3, isn't it, Abdel? That's just two scores yeah. away, but it's the yeah, fact that St. Peter's haven't looked like they're going to concede. St. Peter's haven't looked like there's a weakness that Isipatana can exploit here. So that's where I think Isipatana will be staring down the barrel at halftime. Salia Kumara is going to have to come up with some magic. And Navin Kanishka is going to have to stand a little bit further back and have his runners running onto that ball at pace. But St. Peter's will know that all they have to do now is to make sure that they don't do anything silly. You just sense that all the Isipatana players are just waiting for that offload, isn't it? So they're on the side of the ball carrier. So once the ball carrier falls, there's no one to actually go and clear the pod. And that's uh, been a problem uh, for Isipatana. Another wonderful touch finder. We're talking about Vindya Dimel actually being in the shadows of Javikrama and uh, Yumet Shehara, but he does his core jobs really well. He's supposed to find them touch, he does that. He's supposed to get them out of the 22, he does that as well. And he went for a run, which won that last penalty also. So the big players are stepping up. Again, pressure by Isipatara College, who managed to get away from a very dangerous position. So important steal there, not to concede before half time is what will be the primary focus for this Patana team. And St. Peter's will know that if they can get even a three-pointer on the board, 
things will look good for them. This is Shahid Zumri. Not been the same since he's been injured. Kalindu puts about 50 meters on that ball, but Tarindu will now run this back. No, in fact, he'll go to the air. That's a penalty in favor of Faisipatana College man in front, clearly. Referee Abekon spotting that one. So Isipatana now with an opportunity. They need to try and uh, get the territorial advantage in this closing minutes. Now in Kanishka trying to decide on whether he wants the scrum or the penalty. I think that uh, ball needs to... So this is an interesting one. The player, if he's touching the ball from outside, he needs to land in the field of play to keep that ball in field. Come down. Well, it's I think, uh, I think yet again, Gihan Yadavar completely lost that one. Like you mentioned, he needs to land in field. He cannot... Uh, Touch the ball, jumping up, and uh, but uh, Isipatana may not uh, complain because they've gotten a scrum in favour in the red zone of the Pete right. And no one on the blind side, Dunit Jayavira, but not a good channel. Zumri drops the ball, and Kushan Tarindu will try and run himself out of trouble. Vindya Dimel, lovely little switch there. Jaya Vikrama creates the breakdown. Now the forwards will look to set it up for Vindya Dimel to clear. And Vindya Dimel manages to find touch there and again you can see that Kalindu Shenal was hesitating there. You can see that St. Peter's have got in the heads of this Pathana team and they are very much in the ascendancy at the moment. Oh, absolutely. Isi Pathana College haven't felt this kind of resistance from many teams like we discussed that time Samidu Chirat delaying that ball just a fraction of a second not managing to find a Zumri. Nice win at the front of the line out. Pulling down, collapsing the mall, says referee. So the Isipatana will have a penalty with about four minutes to go, or just under four minutes to go. For the half time whistle, but they've got plenty of ground to make up. It's again. In that pick and go, they had the advantage, but yet just couldn't get over that gain line consistently enough, isn't it? So the Isipatana three quarters are pretty much uh, running their plays off the back foot, and uh, that's just helping that Isipatana, the Peter Wright defense, nullify whatever threats uh, the, three, the Isipatana three is able to uh, pose. We saw that having an effect even in that scrum, that's wasn't it, Abdella? Because it. it usually Isipatana are pretty clinical or five meter scrums and running their strike plays off the set piece but that time they couldn't channel the ball properly and that's something Durit Javira yep. does pretty well and uh, that's again the Peters defense really causing that diffidence Dodangada off the front Kanishka it's a big uh, uh, Chamindu Chirat in fact it was the big center Kanishka again to Zumri Zumri dancing through, manages to get the ball to Rinet Silva. Rinet Silva steps in field, steps out and manages to get the score. A little bit of magic once again from Shahid Zumri. And the Zizipatana backs have wow, taken wow, the half chance. Wow. <laughs> That's all you could say, Rinet Silva. The bout of defenders he had to get through. You won't see much better footwork in any form of rugby than that. Absolutely brilliant. And just the response Isi Patana would have wanted. And it's that man Silva again. Yes, Zumri got that offload from the back of his hand. But Silva yet had a mountain of work to do. 
Well, you can be a Pete Wright fan. You can be a from any school. But take a look at this. How can you not appreciate this one? Lovely bit of footwork. Still one exactly where he was heading. He was heading to the try line and he was going to make sure that his team goes into the break with an advantage. He will concentrate as much as he possibly can to get them that two extra points. 10 points to 15 at the break. Isi Patana will consider themselves in the ascendancy and will want to make sure that they latch on to that all important momentum. Well, he's got a right foot step, which is some sort of a divine gift. The left foot step wasn't too bad either to take him in for the try, but the right foot kick puts him and his team within one score of what has been a dominant performance by St. Peter's in the first 35 minutes. It's absolutely brilliant. Just uh, what this uh, game needed, isn't it? You wouldn't have wanted uh, to go in at the 15.3 lead from Isipathana's point of view, but just that score has just uh, added a new level of excitement uh, as uh, we go into half time. It's been a fascinating uh, final game and uh, that final score has just uh, set it up brilliantly for another exhilarating 35 minutes of rugby. Half-time confirmation for you, 15 points to 10 in favour of St. Peter's College who scored two tries and uh, they will be very thankful that they managed to get all those penalties because that's what's uh, giving them that advantage. While uh, we take a look at all important uh, work here at the Bum Bumble Pitya Sports Complex. Introducing Keel's Crest uh, Crispy Chicken now available at Keel's and other supermarkets island wide. Jules and the chicken coated in a golden crispy batter. It's the ultimate chicken experience and uh, at the Bradby the three of us uh, were offered some at the lab missed out and uh, complained la la last week as well this time around we haven't been able to get the chicken across because there was uh, quite a bit of uh, traffic at the entrance i don't remember being offered chicken <laughs> sudarshan well i i was i think i couldn't just uh, get it across to you and uh, here's how the scoring started for st peter's college Rana singer offloading to yumet shihara who was running a beautiful line Having uh, done the hard work of tapping it into uh, Rana Singer initially, added the extras as well to get an early lead for St. Peter's College. Strong lad, isn't he? This was a decisive moment in the game. St. Peter's still have their full complement on the pitch. But Rinesh Silva, that's a lovely front peel. Dulaj Navo, did he get it down? That will be the question that many fans from both teams and neutrals will be asking as conversations about this game go on and that's a little offload from Kalin Dushanal right footstep took him into the gap the left footstep took him past the last defender and Rene Silva managing to score an all-important try to keep his team and I don't think this is too early to say Abdella but keep his team in the game yes definitely not so uh, that's it for half time. We'll uh, see you on the other side for another entertaining 35 minutes of rugby. Now, we're ready to collect Dandex. Active Climbersol, Palamuse, the men is sorry, Ivakarai. Hamadam Dandex now. Hamadam, no problem. Dandex, his and the Hase Idiriata. Enjoy the infinite possibilities of the freedom of space, inspired by the beauty of our land. Sri Lanka's finest finished, largest sized porcelain tile collection. Majestica. Lanka Tiles. Fine living. Redefined. Now we're ready to look at Dandex. Active Climbersol, Palamuse, the men are sorry, Ivakarai. Hamadam Dandex, now. Hamadam, no problem. Dandex, his and Nida Hase, Idiriata. Nevum Bavarakadena, Kumarika Hambit, Sangviti Samakata, Camo Oil, Big Shaving Form, Atvitia Heki Venasakata. 
Aloe vera and mint for freshness, chamomile for sensitive skin, lemon and lime for an energetic day. Big shaving foam, a change you must experience. Aloe vera and mint for freshness, chamomile for sensitive skin, lemon and lime for an energetic day. Big shaving foam, a change you must experience. 
Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. Pisal Paharobal. Thadulu Vikramayan, this with his great can, ekama pitiya ka gatena. Lanka Premier League Taragabaliya deda has visituna. Juli Triswana Dasita Augusto Visiveli Dadakwa. Very good afternoon and welcome back to the Bumblebee Grounds where St. Peter's are hosting Ishipatana for this league decider. It's been an outstanding first half. We've had pretty much everything. We've had cards, we've had penalties, we've had high tackles, we've had tip tackles, we've had uh, everything that you could possibly expect. We've got missed penalties, kicked over penalties and we've had some tries of the highest quality both from St. Peter's as well as Isipathana to finish off the half. It's 15 points to 10 and coming out onto the field you'd have to say that the body language of the Peterites looks far more confident than the body languages of the Isipathana team. But at 15-10 there's nothing in it and whoever scores first in this half you'd have to say will probably have the ascendancy. Especially considering uh, St. Peter's, uh, from St. Peter's point of view, they do have a five-point lead. One more score, even if it's a penalty, will make it a sc two-score game as far as Isipathana is concerned. But Isipathana, they just will want to carry on from that last uh, five minutes of that second half, isn't it? Just uh, having got that superb try on the stroke of half-time, they want to kick on from there. Rinesh Silva, the man who scored that uh, scintillating try, gives the ball to his captain, who opts not to kick. Follow this me. time they're outside the 22, so can't kick out on the full. So Isipathana looking to run, perhaps. And uh, that was consistent Number again five. from referee Shankar Bekun. And uh, Shanuka Pereira is called for a high tackle. Does Isipathana intent on running the ball from anywhere? Isn't it? They just uh, don't want to give away position. They want to hold on to the ball as much as possible. Number five. Does make Go for a very uh, entertaining spectacle, but at the same time, it's very high risk. So the execution uh, has to be spot on. And that's the area that Isipathana has been lacking in the last couple of weeks. They didn't execute well against Royal, and that time again, they've lacked a little bit of execution on getting that ball into touch. And that's another wonderful visionary kick. And that's the 50-22 again, the second time in this game. You had very few all season, and now we've had two in a game, in a deciding game. Brilliant work by Sudesh Chayavikram at that time, and uh, Isipatana will be kicking themselves. Kalindu Shanal not managing to find touch. Referee Abekon speaking to uh, DC Patana forwards. Uh, closing the gap has been a problem with DC Patana line out. Patriots will want to try and set this one up, uh, Shanaka, when they set 
up that mall. They looked like a different beast. They looked uh, very dominant. This time they've gone to the 15 meter mark. It's overthrown. They've tried to do a few different advantage things this over. time. Navin Kanishka is taken out after he's kicked, but I don't think that will be too much of a problem. The players look committed. Here's Tarindu Kushal. Is this ball going to go into touch? Yes, it is. Another dangerous line out for St. Peter's to make something of. It's again, it's a pattern, huh? probably not finding touch when they really need to. Giving the chance for the Peter Wrights to counter attack. So just that uh, territorial game is something that is part of a need to manage much better. You have to say that St. Peter's having that attacking line out, they scored off that last 50-22. Oh! You'd have expected them to just set up the driving mall, but this One. time they tried the front peel and this time they tried something off the back of the line out. Galdege inexplicably going no, no, into contact there. Nice long ruck set up, but they don't have a scrum half to get the ball to Navin Karishka. And now have they conceded a penalty? Okay. Not yet. Yeah. Garlage will now, sorry, not no, Garlage, De Costa will set up. And Navin Karishka will put this ball only as far as Kuchal Tarindu. And now they have numbers over. Here's the danger man, Bandar. Brought down by Rene Silva, but the ball's gone forward. So Rene Silva recovering despite being outnumbered there on that right wing. But Isipatana living very dangerously. Yes, they're playing with fire here, isn't it? I'm wondering whether it's a deliberate tactic to keep the ball in play rather than kicking it out. But if so, it just uh, doesn't seem to be working because uh, putting their defense under a lot of stress and under a lot of pressure as well. Last offload to Yumet Chihara, so just looking a little bit forward. Dikosta with the clean ball out. This time, lovely dummy from uh, Chamidu Chirat and knocks the ball on at a crucial moment. First knock on. Two knock-ons there, so the referee has to stop play. Chirat just couldn't get his hands free, and yeah, Rene Silva is giving him a bit of a pep talk. The good stuff by uh, Silva going up to uh, Chirat and telling him to just forget that, mate. Good work by Bandar at that time, attacking that ball. Crouch! Forces uh, the mistake from Chirat. Good presence of mind from Bandara to attack the ball carrier's arm that time. Here's Gal again. Not five meters. Navin Karishka had come up before the ball was out, so he will be conceding a penalty if Ranasinger can't make more of this. Ranasinger and the ball just eludes everyone into the dead ball area. Foul play in last play. Okay. Looks like they're time. checking for a shoulder charge or any foul play that any might any have happened for the in the lead up chase. to that kick chase. Let's have a look at it here. Director, can you have a kick and chase? Kick and chase for the two players. We have to check their shoulder in or not. Here's the fend from Ranasinghe. Did really well to get away from Hashem Randhima. There's the kick. 
they want to check whether Randy Mal went in and continued his shoulder charge. Don't think uh, it made a huge difference. This is it here. Randhimal keeps going. So you've got to watch the actions of Green 11. The kick happens. And he may have just taken the feet of Ranasinghe there, but I don't think it really okay, affected I made the, the outcome of the play. Okay, I made the decision. Hi, Shankar. Yes, got it. Uh, I said that's it's not uh, affected. Uh, you had got the 22 drop out. No, no foul play there. No foul play there. No foul play there. You have to go the 22 drop out. No foul play there. You have to go the 22 drop out. Yeah, advantage at the Binani. 22 referee had 22 drop out for a penalty advantage for the five meter scrum, but he says advantage was over and rightly so because St. Peter's had a scoring opportunity there. So, referee Richard Carter, the TMO, ruling that there was no foul play. Number 11. Kanishka this time goes long and up in Bogambara. St. Anthony's are putting up a valiant fight against Royal. 14 points to 18, they trail. Kanishka waits for the ball to try and bounce in. Yes, with, with this new rule of uh, the goal line dropout, I think that was a really good outcome for St. Peter's. Patanas keeper was waiting for the ball to trickle over the goal line, but unfortunately for him, did not happen. So, yeah, at the end of the day, good outcome for the Peterites. Vindya Dimel. Gives it to the danger man, Yumit Shihara, and now the dancing feet Back. of Kushan Tarindu. Here's Shihara again, plenty of time with the ball in his hands, lovely offload. Runner singer for the line, it's that combination again. Did he get it down? Gal again insists no, no, that he no. has. But I suspect our TMO may be called in one more time to see if there was a grounding. Referee Arunashanta saying we'll go up to the TMO. Harder. Yes, Ishanka. On field decision, no try. Can you check the grounding, please? Okay. On field decisions, no try. We have to check the grounding or not. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Because Ishanka Bekun uh, did say that he spotted the ball being placed on a foot. Yes, there is a hand underneath, and uh, I can think. Have uh, angle. That's on the hand, and then does he manage to get it down? Yes, I think he does be very interesting why the previous one was called a try and then asked to be reviewed and this one is a no try and asked to be reviewed as this looks like a pretty clear grounding if you think about it first one was definitely on the hand but the momentum takes the player over the ball or over the try line nicely. So that's Ranasinghe looks like he's got this down or has he? Crucial decision to be made by uh, the television match official Irshad Carter who's been called in to do a lot of work today.
there. Just there. Seems like Rana Singh at that time managed to ground that ball. The arm coming in seems okay. to be slightly late. Uh, if you can zoom in can a frame uh, earlier. A little bit back. They're just there. So that's Navin Kanishka's strapped hand. Is that the ball on the ground before the defender's hand in the green jersey comes across now? We're going back. That's where it slips off Kanishka's hand and does it touch the floor? That's the question. Dinit Ranasinghe may have done himself uh, a disadvantage with his hand being on top of underneath that ball and not grounding it. Okay, I made the decision. Chief Shankar, you may award yes. the try. You may award the try. Sorry? You may award the try. Sanity okay, prevails okay. and uh, Refi Carter making the correct decision. That is going to be a try <laughs> in favor of St. Peter's College. And that's a try. 15 points to 10 20 points to 10 now with the conversion to come number 12 they let the runner sing her must be overjoyed that he's managed to touch it down shihara with an opportunity to make sure that st peter's have a 12 point lead early in this second half and uh Petroids are looking absolutely confident it was that combination again, wasn't it? Dinath Ranasinghe and Yumi Chihara, they were the ones who managed to get the uh, first try scored for St. Peter's and now the final try, well not the final try, but the last try that has been scored has also been via the two of them. So an outstanding bit of work from these two uh, players. And for St. Peter's to really ascend in this game, I think they need to have the ball in this man's hands a little bit more often. Shihara lining it up, uh, done the yeoman service for St. Peter's so far this game. And uh, that's not good. That's not looking too good for St. Peter's College. Shihara seems like he's pulled something. Looks like it's just a cramp, to be fair. Sudarshan, yeah. nothing too uh, dangerous. And we talked about the heat and the humidity, and this is how it's going to affect players. So if that two points comes into play in the final equation of the game, then yes, the Heat would have come into play. Oh, it didn't come. His right foot just did not want to make contact with the ball as CC Patan restarts. Kushan Tarindu again doing the basics right and making sure that he kicks the ball out and doesn't allow the team that has just scored any inroads. So it's a 10 point uh, cushion for the Peter Wrights. Sipatana with everything to do. Talking about that uh, pre half time moment and that uh, Sipatana carried into the second half, but uh, all that has been nullified by the Peter Wrights. So Sipatana will need to regroup quickly and uh, try and get the next score at the very earliest. I think uh, the spectators, as much as they want to be a part of this game, need to try and clear the lines. They need to give that enough space for assistant referee to try and do his duties. Take a look at some of them. They're just, they're just sitting on the sideline. And uh, if they don't move, this game will not go ahead. And the last thing we want is when these young men, either of the teams, are crown champions for it to be too dark and their memories, uh, their moments stolen from them. So the crowds need to try and understand this and move a couple of steps back. Well, they're almost on the touchline, aren't they? And you can certainly understand referee Ishan Kabekun's concerns, especially because Arunashanta, his assistant, can't even run up and down the touchline with that crowd. So 
there's no way they can continue the game and you have to say the referees have taken the correct decision to temporarily halt it and i just hope the crowd cooperates yeah that's right it's been a wonderful game a wonderful spectacle you just don't want uh, this kind of uh, situations uh, to tarnish what has been a very good encounter with some really good rugby displayed by both these teams spectators have a responsibility as well isn't it while well, you can support your teams they've just got to respect the boundaries of uh, play there are fences very clearly demarcated it's important that uh, the spectators are behind uh, those marks also abdullah if the ac patana fans who are on the sideline if they are privy to what's happening in the middle if they know the letter of the law they need to understand that if the game is called off now isi patana college will lose this uh, league title isi patana fans begging for their fans to just move back because they know if the game is called off now and the referees can do that st peter's college will win the league title Referee Shankar Bekon, the man in the middle who is in charge of making sure the game happens according to the rules of the law, making that decision, giving Isi Patana that extra bit of time to try and regroup and try and understand that they need to make sure that they get their faces going. They've they've tried kicking aimlessly, Shankar, entire this entire game. They haven't been able to try and. get out of uh, trouble they've kicked to kushant arindu who is a dangerous runner they they need to consider themselves very lucky that they're not staring down the barrel and haven't considered more points well, the question i asked before the game started was do isi patana have a kicking game and that abdullah you'll have to answer is at the moment is no yeah that's right uh, throughout this league encounters uh, they have been uh, managing to do it by spreading the ball out wide and uh, managing to gain uh, ascendancy on the outer flanks but uh, when they are up, really up against the really good defensive team that doesn't give them that front foot ball they just don't seem to have that uh, plan b as uh, we are yet uh, having a look at uh, the way the spectators still hang around uh, the touch lines uh, during this break period we'll just have a look at uh, some of the highlights of this game opening try of the game uh, which came through you met shihar at the number 13 who's been absolutely wonderful for st peter's college so far this game converted his own try getting st peter's that 7 point to nil advantage this was every time you see it uh, it gives you shivers because it would have could have ended very dangerously for inis silva who added the three points and this try was awarded on the ground and uh, the television match official did not have conclusive evidence to overturn that decision and then came this absolute beaut every angle you look at that try it keeps getting better rinesh silva touching down and making sure isi patana were still in the game come second half added the extras as well for isi patana college and then runner singer co-vice captain of uh, st peter's college managing to touch down suranga arun shant on the sideline said yes i saw that being grounded and that was the, the correct call and uh, was reconfirmed by referee ishan kabekon there's interesting calls from uh, the assistants on both the tries that were referred to the tmo arun shant on the spot says he saw the grounding and gave the thumbs up but the referee then said on field no try whereas gihan yatavara also said that he saw the try being scored but it's far less conclusive than the first one and the referee said yes it is a try give us a reason to overturn it so it's very important what the question is that is being asked salio kumar and danushka boteju the isipatana coaching team salio looking pretty calm there Abdullah but can't be anything like what's going on inside. Yes, definitely. Sure it's the case with both benches as well, isn't it? Probably Peter right slightly 
bit more calmer, but not much because you know what this Isipathanak team can do in the spur of a couple of phases. But just coming back uh, to the current situation we are facing, the spectators have just got to be a bit more responsible, isn't it? You have to empathize with the referees as well. The way some of those spectators are lining along the touchline, there is no way the touch judge can move about freely. Let's try, uh, try and take a look at that uh, touchline, which is uh, which has been troublesome. If uh, it's possible for our production crew to try and uh, give us a shot of whether the crowd has actually moved back as uh, the referees deliberate whether they are going to continue the game. Isi Patana going through their warm-ups and rightly so. They've been stationary for, for more than a couple of minutes. Now, now that looks much better. Uh, there is space for the assistant referee to operate on the sidelines, on the touch lines, and the crowds have been moved behind. They need to, the crowd needs to move behind the barricades. Plenty of negotiation going on between the organizers and the visiting team as well. Seems like the EC Patana College uh, Rugby Committee has taken responsibility of making sure that the spectators on the other side does not move on to uh, the touch line as they make their way to the opposite side. been a significant delay but play will continue and that's the important bit here four man line out for Isipatana won by Dodangoda De Costa Chamidu Chirat barging into the center of the Pete Wright defense but there was a penalty because the tackle was high says the referee now it's very important that uh, St. Peter's College refocuses as well because uh, Interestingly, Sipatana opting to go to touch uh, Shanaka. We spoke about this so many times. It's important in, in finals footy that you keep the scoreboard ticking. Because if you can get three points here, 13 points to 20, you're just one score away. It's all about pressure, isn't it, uh, Sudarshana? Because 20 points to 13, the, even the leading opposition knows that you're just a score away. So there's more pressure building on them. I'm really surprised they've gone for the sideline then. That said, if they score now, make us look like Ball. buffoons, really. One. It's a five-man mall. De Costa. Shirat going straight through. Lovely offload to Zumri. Zumri makes the ball available nicely. It's quick ball as well. One right out to Rene Silva. Dancing in field with that brilliant right-footed step. Play on, says the referee, and that was beautifully done by Dinet Ranasinghe once again. Taridu, Kushan Taridu, in fact. And St. Peter's through some outstanding defense. Turn what was a pretty dangerous situation into what is now an attacking situation for them. Kalindu Shanal now. Oh, and this is Shahid Zumri, actually. And once again... The accidental offside call comes back to haunt Isipatan. Tommy Dushirat was standing there looking like a prop forward lost in uh, middle of the backs. He may be wearing the number 12 jersey but he has the physical as attributes and uh, by the looks of it, uh, take a look at that. He needed to move from there. Yes, well, he's been playing uh, alongside Zumri all throughout the season virtually so should have a fair idea Set. Set which way Zoom is going to step, but uh, crucial Set. mistake. Leon. Good scrum by St. Peter's. And Vindya Dimel Leon. has his kick partially charged Release down. Now. Release now. De Costa now. Isipatana 50 meters from where they last had the ball. 
Another penalty in centre field. What are they going to do this time? This is too far to kick. Rajapaksa is on in the number 17 jersey for Isipathana. In the front row. Kanishka doesn't make a great connection with that. It's not had the best of the last fortnight. Navin Kanishka started off brilliantly. But he didn't have defenses flying at him. But has been a little bit exposed, Isipathana captain. Go back, go back. With the brutal stifling defense that both Royal and St. Peter's today have thrown at them. Not five meters is the call. Ball didn't travel five meters to Dodangoda. Be interesting if you could watch that one again as this ball ricochets Run dangerously away. but Ranasinghe rescues it again. No, no, no. Here's St. Peter's down the blind side. Here's Jai Vikram, a strong lad. Cutting back infield and keeping the ball alive nicely. Ranasinghe, full of running today. No, not Savai. Ball coughed up by St. Peter's. So a promising move comes to an end. So you can see a few errors creeping into both teams' games, isn't it? Fatigue could be setting in. There was a break uh, nonetheless, but uh, yet the slow is looking at some tired bodies. Uh, so both uh, coaches must be looking at their benches to see if they can get some fresh legs on. Really good attacking uh, platform for Isipatana. Center scrum thrive on these kind of situations. Ball coming out, out of the flankers' feet, and Abdul Ahmad does well to fall on that one. It was hooked, so the referee can play on. Advantage. Not rolling away is the call, so Isipatana will get that third penalty on the bounce. Not rolling. And this time Kanishka takes it quickly. Manages to get the offload away. What can Isipatana conjure up from here? No. The pick and go is the call that they make and it was Hassan Hansa Du Fernando who made about five meters more than he thought he would. No, 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 no hands. The jackler looked like he wasn't supporting his body weight, but uh, referee says continue nice kick that time again from uh, Jai Vikrama Navin Kanishka can't get rid of uh, Dinet Ranasinghe and uh, Kushal Tarindu is right on the spot to steal that ball away Madhugaske acts as scrum half ball has been turned over so it's real Helter skelter stuff here, very unstructured. Both coaches will be tearing their hair out. Hey. Oh, first. Ball is available for De Costa. Here's Rene Silva stepping back into the field of play. Little kick goes up and he manages to regather it. What a little dynamo this boy is. De Costa. The wrong mark, so he has to come all the way back. In fact, it was Kali Dushanal. It's extremely unfortunate, isn't it, that Sri Lanka is not competing in the Asian or the world level when it comes to seven. If not, this boy, Rene Silva, will walk into that seventh outfit and he will be a massive national prospect. Chanaka, he has everything in his armor and uh, he will be one of those players to watch out for in the years to come. Administrative clashes between bureaucrats is only making sure that these boys who deserve to be on the international stage will not get a proper audience. It's not the best of touch finders, but nonetheless, Isipatana will yet have possession. Just his ability to create something out of nothing, isn't it? 
Coming defense and just had the audacity to put that kick ahead. Keeping the eyes on the ball and collecting himself. Just wonderful bit of skill. And also his ball placement in, uh, when he goes down is absolutely brilliant as well. Isipatan now on the charge. Zumri taking it into the 22. Here's Abdul Ahmed. Kanishka. Shenal. Oh, this is an interesting moment. Really interesting moment in the game. Dinath Ranasinghe. Did he try to knock that ball deliberately down? The referee is reaching into his pocket. Ranasinghe says, I tried to palm it up. But he's not going to con the referee into that. And this is going to be a crucial, crucial moment. Because Ranasinghe has been one of the best players on the park for St. Peter's today. It's a very unforgiving rule. Uh, the intentional knock-on. If you do not, uh, if you do not showcase an ability to try and win that ball and you obstruct play, just like uh, Rana Singer does there, you are at the risk of uh, spending 10 minutes in the bin. Crucial yes. line for Isipatan. The fact that he went with one hand also just didn't help the cause, isn't it? Made the referee's decision so much easier. You can see why they called not five meters. That was pretty much right on the money there as the Isipatana Mall drives towards the line. No, no, no. Offside. It looked like it was Kavin Tarusha who almost got there. No, no, no. Isipatana now over the line. It's the man who came off the bench, Damhiro Rajapaksa, who ended up doing the scoring. It's alive again. 20 points to 15. Isipatana has struck back with St. Peter's down to 14 men. This is what Isipatana needed, a lease of life. The second try, third try rather. St. Peter's have been one of those disciplined teams. And uncharacteristically, Sudarshan it has come via their forwards. So I'm sure they will take a lot of confidence from that in the next few minutes. Silva, arguably being the best player on the park uh, as far as his, the his partner lads have been concerned with the conversion. Got to wonder what would have happened if they took that three earlier. Would have been all tied up. This one is much easier for Rene Silva and it's through the uprights. And suddenly it's a three point game with St. Peter's down, their co captain and best player of the day. Well, I can tell you three neutral commentators here up in the box. We are failing it in the com box. And if you are a fan of either one of these schools, we cannot uh, think, we cannot imagine how nervous you must be as uh, St. Peter's ready to restart. Kushan Tarindu. Straight to Rene Silva. Here's uh, Sahindu de Costa. Manages to place the ball back, but they don't have a scrum half now, so they'll have to set up another ruck. Ball is inside the 22. What are they going to do? Are they going to run? Yes, they are. Here's Shahid Zumri. Lovely little switch to Kalindu Shenal, but Vindya Dimel was really alive to the risk. So Patana, since half time, have showed that they are going to run from wherever they are in the field. But if they're going to do that, they can't afford forward passes. Yes, again, it's very high risk, isn't it? Running from your own 22. Probably from this kind of situation, they don't have much of an option. But yet there is 15 minutes, isn't it? Playing a bit more of a territorial game. But throughout this game, they have been doing that. And they're consistently two, doing that. You could argue whether it's, well, it has been successful two, or not. Two. Number two change. Number two. You just see guys like Zoom ah, right. It's their ability yeah, to just come. throw those overhead passes. Needs the hand, it's fine. It looks uh, glorious, but uh, can turn the other way pretty quickly as well if it falls into the opponent's hand. But that's the chance which they play it, isn't it? And that's what we like to see this. This is the partner three quarter line. 
secured their place. Seems like uh, that will be the end of the day for Metasara. We spent 10 minutes in the... Uh, yes, that in was the, the forward pass, I think. Uh, by the easy button of skipper. 14 minutes to go, says the referee. Plenty can happen in that 14 minutes. St. Peter's, of course, with the advantage, with the, th the three points lead. They're playing at home. It's their game to lose. They've dominated majority of this game. Isipaton, on the other hand, fighting. Fighting for the title. Fighting to retain what is already theirs. Jana Karanasinghe is in, in the middle of the front row for St. Peter's. In place of Methusara, who has clearly done his shoulder in. Couch! Five! Set! Set! Important scrum for St. Peter's. They have to get another score to be a little comfortable. Jaya Vikrama, lovely wrap around to Vindya Dimel, who sends a pinpoint pass to Bandara. Just doesn't survive the clean out. The easy path on a player. That time, Abdul Ahmed goes after it. But St. Peter's are quick to the breakdown. Gal again. Lovely ball to Shenuka. There was no ruck there. So he could have kicked the ball. Gal again now goes open side. Gets it over the flying Bandara. Jai Vikrama does well. Kushal Taridu, Kushal Taridu in for the score. There was only one outcome when that ball went over the head of Rene Silva. Isipatana's support play and rocking has been absolutely, sorry, St. Peter's support play and rocking has been brilliant today. And they managed to get the ball into the hands of the danger men at the right moments in the right areas yes and again as you very correctly said Shanaka, just get the, they get that ascendancy from getting over the gain line having players at the ruck clearing the ball quickly and that's just drawing the isipatana defense inside and creating that space outside so really good work by isipatana they just stick to uh, by the peter rice they just stick to the basics isn't it they just stick to the basics they play a very calculated percentage game and uh, they're reaping the results of that so far. So 25 points, 17, that takes an eight point lead for the Peterites. Need to score twice, conversion to come. Don't think that's uh, struck well. So score will remain 25 points to 17. And Isipatana need to score twice again to get back into this game. Here's the pass, beautifully done by Jaya Vikrama, and he had the presence of mind to pass that ball in field. Navin Kanishka lost his balance, and from then on, it was a lovely finish from uh, Kushan Tarindu. Zumri, the dangerous Shahid Zumri, has been properly shackled today. Managed to get one magical offload away, but hasn't been able to do much apart from that because his midfield defense has been really outstanding today for St. Peter's. And did you, Abdullah, might you have seen just the slightest semblance of a smile on Sanat Martis's face? Coach! Well, I guess it was more relief than anything else, if you would tell Five. me. But uh, again, just that two-score cushion, isn't it? So important. To enter the last 10 minutes of this game, Isipatana, they will kick it down the ground. Won't take any chances. Wow, what a wonderful collection. Well, that was a LPL stuff from Chanel. Beautiful tackle that time by Jason Ranasinghe, I think it was, who came onto the park, full of fire, and he's made it count. Wonderful, just wonderful stuff, and you got to commend St. Peter's, St. Peter's knowledge of game management uh, when when it was lost forward they were in no absolute no hurry to play that ball they need the time to tick they need to take those couple of extra seconds for until a scrum is being set we are into the last 10 minutes of the game 
where we have one of the twists. We will have to wait and see, but now, St. Peter's, it's their game to lose. Say. Carl again. Again, nothing fancy from St. Peter's, just looking for the open spaces, running Kalindu Shanal into that gap. Rene Silva, unable to get the ball away, and Isipatana have managed to paint oh, no. themselves into another corner. Use it! Good counter racking again, but from the side, says the referee. So, Isipatana will take this quickly. And they've conceded the penalty again. There's no question of St. Peter's not going for the points here. And you have to say, Abdullah, maturity is one word that comes to mind when you think about how St. Peter's have handled this game. Absolutely. And uh, that's the way, that's the chance his partner take, isn't it? You keep running from your own 22. There's a greater chance that you are going to get caught out. The Peterites have been much more dominant at the breakdown compared to the Peter, uh, compared to the Patana lads. And they just played the percentages better, is it? From their own half, they have kicked the ball to space, ensured that they keep the Patanians in their own 22, and have just applied the pressure and managed to draw penalties. I'm absolutely baffled, uh, Shanak and Abdullah. I think for the first time in my life, I'm seeing some of the Isipatana fans already leave in the grounds. Never in all these years of uh, covering games and watching games have I ever seen this happening. Isipatana known for ferocious set of fans who back their team. No matter what, as Kushan Tarindu drills it through the middle. Sanat Maris is confident of lifting another league yeah, yeah, yeah. title with this beat right hey. outfit here hey. at Bambalapitiya and I can tell you the beat right launch today oh, is yeah, going to party till the dawn well it's been a long time coming but it will be sweet when they lift it don't want to talk too soon because there's eight minutes left in the game and Plenty that could happen in that time, but for the moment, you have to say if you're a betting man, that your money would be very safe on St. Peter's. Again, a wonderful clearance, isn't it? That's probably been the difference uh, between both these teams. St. Peter's have played the territorial game much more better and smarter compared to Isipatana. Isipatana have been running from their own 22 throughout this season, they have got away with it on most occasions but in these last two games they've come up against teams who are probably physically a bit more dominant and they have uh, definitely struggled so this is the area Abdullah, that i'm really impressed with that there haven't been any errors from the restart st peter's have been completely flawless and that has not allowed isipatana any territorial advantage and this man has not been able to respond as talented as he is as a good a passer as he is he hasn't been able to respond to that lack of space yeah, that's right and also it's coming from the fact that he's had to play with back football most of the game isn't it just uh, hasn't been able to get his three quarters going on the front foot and you have to give credit to the Petrite defense for that as well they come off the line they have shut space down as quickly as possible so Petrite's just launching another attack Oh, that's just at the bootlaces. You met Chihara did well to get his hands to it, but this late in the game, it was a little bit too much of an ask for a man who has been high on his work rate, also suffered from cramps earlier to try and bend down to get that ball. Despairing face as he knew it was just out of his grasp. Yes, so just the kind of errors uh, Peters will like to... Bye take out of the game would have done well to probably take it up straight and try and create a couple of phases keep it a bit tight it wasn't the case so it's another chance for his partner to launch an attack predictably going out wide 
using their broken field runners. Khalid Shenal, the fullback. And this is where Isipatana have suffered. They haven't had a third or fourth phase plan. Their strike plays have been brilliant this season, but now they kick it away, which is at a point where you have to question, no, no. was that really the opportune moment to kick? Use the ball. St. Peter's will be very patient now. now. They know there's only five minutes left. Back. And they will pick and go till the cows come home. If they have to, Vindya Dimel gives it to the longer boot of Jai Vikrama. And Kalindu Shenal is back where he started. He has a little bit of space opening up, but a lovely tackle again by Vindya Dimel, who has really made a contribution today, you have to say. Zumri with that trademark little offload to Rene Silva, but the mercurial winger has very little space to move. The turnover is good for St. Peter's. Dimel looks out, comes back in. Jai Vikram with a lovely little kick as well. Will call is uh, that it was a 50 22. That will be for an interesting viewing. It looked like uh, Sandesh Jayavikram just came out of uh, the 50 meter mark to kick that one. Let's try and take a look at the replay if possible. But I think it's uh, fair that we start up the conversation, gentlemen, about uh, who our player of the match, NDB player of the match, is going to be when it comes to this. Uh, all important uh, league decider as uh, St. Peter's still go charging. They'll do this all day long. Ball is available. Aiden Fernando winning that ball untidily though in the line out. The ball knocked forward. So 350-22s from Jaya Vikrama. Looks like Ranasinghe is back on the pitch as well, served his time in the bin for that unfortunate deliberate knockdown. Bye. Set. De Costa. Now the kick from... Uh, Backwards, play on. Navin Kanishka. No He's not able to hold that ball. Abdul Aziz, who has come in in number 23, the prize scorer, Dam Hindu. Now a little bit of space opening up for Rene Silva. Goes outside his man, but now coming in, but St. Peter's collapse well. And Abdul Ahmed seems to have lost his ball on the floor. Well, there's quite a few candidates because it has been a superb team performance from uh, St. Peter's, hasn't it, Sudarshana? Vindya Dimel has been excellent. Dinat Ranasinghe in attack and defence. He scored a couple of tries and has really been one of the key players in this team, especially in defence as well. And Jai Vikrama has played really well also. So there's quite a few candidates. And Kushan Tarindu with that icing on the cake score. So lots to pick from. Uh, and also, I think uh, an honourable mention needs to be made about Rene Silva, who's been absolutely mercurial. If Isi Patana had an iota of chance, it was through that uh, man who really has poured himself uh, into this game. But uh, I think uh, Shanaka, for his all overall ability, I'm going to side with Winder Dimel, who's really controlled this game. And um, I leave it for Abdullah. I can, it's a democracy here at the Combox. Uh, the person with the highest number of uh, assertions uh, will receive that award. Yes, I uh, have to agree. I think uh, in these big games, you want your number 10 to stand up, isn't it? And to the Peter Wright's credit, they have done that. Uh, he's kicked very well. He's identified space. Uh, and also, he's uh, got his three quarters in motion at the correct times. So I think uh, I'd have to go agree with you, Sudarshana. Here's uh, the throw-in from St. Peter's College. 
stolen by St. Peter's, stolen back by Isipatana College, who want to make sure that they don't go down fight in this league decider where St. Peter's look like they will be crowned as the champions. You can see as soon as the Isipatana first receiver looked out, all he saw was a sea of gold, white and blue jerseys. Had to cut back in field. Also an honourable mention to Yumit Chihara who scored the first try. He's been outstanding today. Although he's been suffering a bit since that cramp. We haven't seen him as much in the second half. Isi Patana are not done. They want to keep hitting the Patriots. They may not win this one but they will not just fold like any other team. St. Peter's with a massive hit and that will be the end of the game and St. Peter's College have managed to win the league after 13 long years. The Bamba Brigade is victorious here at Bamba Lepitya, league champions of 2023 Dialogue Schools Rugby League winners, St. Peter's College and what a performance it has been from them. Outstanding win today. Jehan Veerabangsa putting the icing on the cake there with that thunderous defensive hit, forcing the knock on and bringing an end to the game. And that has been the story of their season. A jubilant Sanat Marti, so as jubilant as Sanat Martis will ever show the outside world he is. What a performance from his team. It has been a lesson in game management and just efficient performance on a rugby field, Abdullah. Yeah, absolutely and very correctly as depicted on the screen congratulations St. Peter's I think they just dominated the game line today isn't it Shanaga we, they, we knew we were talking pre-game how, how important uh, that is going to be because that's very much the Achilles heel of this Isipatana outfit they go wide early they expect to attack through the outer channels and uh, just that defensive work at the breakdown as well as out wide has just nullified whatever Isipatana can pose and uh, ended up as deserved victors. So, St. Peter's unbeaten, victor, unbeaten champions as well. So, a lot of credit to them. It all started in that first game against St. Peter against Royal, and it's uh, finished at uh, Bumble Peter, their home ground. So, what a way to end a 13-year drought! Absolutely brilliant. Terrific stuff. Terrific stuff by the Patriots over really shifted gears as they went on in the season they managed to keep it uh, unbeaten up until this final game and in this final game they've showcased absolute dominance to make sure that they are the victors of dialogue schools rugby league 2023 with an unbeaten record Terrific work, but uh, commiserations with Isi Patana College, who uh, who did have a wonderful season in the run-up, but unfortunately going down and losing both their Super Round games and surrendering the title that they won last year. Yes, I think they lost some very, very key players who left school last year. And some of the youngsters coming through have been good, but just not at the level of maturity that you'd expect to win a league title and I think that was where St. Peter's really were a cut above. They knew exactly what to do and when to do it and they didn't try anything fancy, played the basics but when they needed to pull out all the stops they managed to do that as well. Couple of spectacular scores from uh, the backs as well and then made sure that some of the strike players, Abdullah, especially that front peel that ended up in that uh, try, controversial try perhaps but it was really well executed. Yeah, absolutely, and talking about this year's team in comparison to last year's team as well, isn't it? It's also their ball carriers. I don't think Isipatna had those ball carriers to get them over the game line. Last year, they had two or three really big men who could do that for them. And uh, that's another thing, because if you don't uh, have those players to get you on the front foot consistently against good teams, you are going to struggle. Full-time confirmation, 28 points to 17, St. Peter's College. Winners of the Dialogue Schools Rugby League 2023, and uh, there will be a lot of parties here around here at Bumble Pitya. The Beat Trout Lounge is going to be buzzing, and if you are, and if you are a St. Peter's College fan, a league victory after 13 years, why not celebrate until dawn? 
Well, it's been a long time coming, but it's been a very, very impressive one. It is one of the most impressive on record, I think, for Sanat Martis and his Chargers because it is an unbeaten league title, Sudarshan, and you don't get many of those. And it has been a fantastic performance for a team that started off a little bit average, didn't really hit the headlines early on in the season, managed to get over that very early hurdle of Royal College in what was a dire performance by both teams, but they managed to win, grind out a win in ugly conditions in that game. And you have to think that on the first day of their season and the last day of their season, they really put in two very contrasting but winning performances, Abdella, which has rendered them champions. Yes, definitely. It was uh, probably from both those teams in the first game, it was not as, uh, it was not, uh, how shall we put it, it was not as uh, fluent as we would have liked, but uh, St. Peter's managed to get the job done and that's what good teams do, isn't it? And today as well, there were moments in this game as well when they were under pressure, but just tactically, they just executed plans, especially with regard to their kicking game. They tactically kick much better and uh, you'd have to say deserve champions. Well, some of you who are absolutely jubilant, you must be craving something delicious. Try the all new uh, Kills Crest Crispy Chicken Juice. It and the chicken coated in golden crispy batter is the ultimate chicken experience uh, available at all Kills and other supermarkets. And uh, I'm sure that will be a perfect treat for all the celebrations that will happen at Tuppy Trite households today. And uh, we are thrilled that we managed to uh, see some interesting exciting rugby here at Bambalipitya. Yes, well, we have the Peter Wright Lounge right next to us on our right-hand side and we can see things uh, gearing up there for a long night. Quite deservedly so. lot to celebrate after 13 years. It's a long time coming. And to go through an entire season unbeaten, they can be very, very proud of their performance. First try of the second half from Dinit Ranasinghe. Managed to put the ball down despite the best efforts of Navin Kanishka and Abdul Aziz. And this was Isipatana coming back into the game at 20 points to 17. Scoring through Dam Hindu Rajapaksa. And Rene Silva adding the extra points to make sure that it was just a three point game at that point. Anything could have happened, but this was a passage of play that sealed the game. Kushal Tarindu, with some excellent work from Jaya Vikrama before him, managing to dot down, and then, of course, Kushal Tarindu stepping up for that three points at the end, which put the gap beyond doubt. There was no coming back for even a team as electric as Isipatana to come back from that. So here's the full-time stats, four tries. So they get their bonus point as well, St. Peter's. Two tries to Isipatana, one conversion two to Isipatana who had both their tries gold and two penalty goals to one and Vindhya Dimel at number 10 who controlled this game so beautifully and allowed the players inside and outside him to do what they did best and that's why he is our NDB Bank player of the match today. Vindhya Dimel, well done mate. What we'll uh, do now is we'll go for a quick commercial break and when we come back Please do not go anywhere because when we come back, we will have the all-important award ceremony here at Bambalapitya where St. Peter's College will be crowned champions of the Dialog Schools Rugby League 2023. The Digital Youth Account, NDBZ, NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us.
මේ ජොබ් එක අදම කරන්න ඕනේ අදම නෝ ප්‍රොබ්ලම් ඔයගොල්ලෝ දෙන්නේ ඉවෙන්ට් එකට ඩ්‍රස් කෝඩ් එක බ්ලැක් බ්ලැක් නෝ ප්‍රොබ්ලම් නව වැඩි දුන්න කල ඩැන්ඩෙක්ස් ඇක්ටිව් ක්ලිම්බසෝල් පළමු සේදීමෙන්ම ඉස්සොරි ඉවත් කරයි ස්වභාවික සාරයන් හිස පෝෂණය කරයි නකමුද no problem hama dama dandex nam hama dama no problem dandex hisa nidahase idiriyata enjoy the infinite possibilities of the freedom of space inspired by the beauty of our land sri lanka's finest finished largest sized porcelain tile collection majestica langa tiles fine living redefined ona mada akaranna vidyam thena eta mai जीवित आती आत्मविश्वास Aloe and mint for freshness, chamomile for sensitive skin, lemon and lime for an energetic day. Big shaving foam, a change you must experience. Yeah, your embrace so warm with one more bite of revel love for sunshine. Catch 
the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. Pisal Paharobal. Thadulu Vikramayan. This with this great can. Ekama Pitya Kagatena. Lanka Premier League Taragabalia Deda Has Visituna. Juli Triswanada Sita Augusto Visibilidad Dakwa. Four teams still standing. The battle for supremacy reaches its final stage. Dialogue Schools Rugby League Super Round is here. The time has come, once again, for the Warriors to battle in pursuit of supremacy. Dialogue Schools Rugby League. The battle for supremacy starts in June. Season 1, Danuma. Season 2, Charita Avalia. Season 3, Krida Viplava. the excitement real time be up to date with it all let us capture your milestones get it sizzling hot off the turf hear the experts break it down dig deep into the nitty gritty be inspired by their greatness relive all the scintillating action Sal Paharobal, Thadulu Vikramayan, this with this great can, Ekama Pitya Kagatena. Lanka Premier League Taragabalia Deda Has Visituna, Juli Triswanada Sita Augusto Visibilidad Dakwa.
Four teams still standing. The battle for supremacy reaches its final stage. Dialogue Schools Rugby League Super Round is here. The time has come, once again, for the Warriors to battle in pursuit of supremacy. Dialogue Schools Rugby League. The battle for supremacy starts in June. Season 1, Danuma. Season 2, Charita Avalia. Season 3, Krida Viplava. the excitement real time be up to date with it all let us capture your milestone get it sizzling hot off the turf hear the experts break it down dig deep into the nitty-gritty be inspired by their greatness relive all the scintillating action Sal Paharobal, Kadulu Vikramayan, this with his great can, Ekama Pitya Katena, Lanka Premier League Taragabalia, Deda Has Visituna, Juli Tiswanada Sita, Augusto Visibilita Dakwa. Just to maintain, it was uh, a decider all right. And uh, the latest we have 
from the super round uh, in fourth place was uh, St. Anthony's College Katukaskoda. Isipatana College ended up uh, in third place despite having the same number of points as Royal College and uh, the decider on the head to head count. So, Isipatana third with 37, Royal runners up with 37. St. Peter's champions unbeaten with 46 points. Take the pressure of inviting uh, the championship winning team to come and collect their medals. St. Peter's College! The team led by Ashen Madigaspe, coach, head coach Sanat Martis, teacher in charge Noel Kure, and uh, we've got uh, the rector of St. Peter's College, Reverend Father Rohit Rodrigo, up on stage. To go through the season with uh, such a fantastic record as we saw today, always uh, in the thick of things, scoring points, defending, and despite uh, some anxious moments, they have uh, prevailed with uh, yet another historic uh, performance for the school at Bambalapitiya. Well played, St. Peter's. victory up in the hills. Royal would be presented with uh, the uh, runner trophy and uh, the medals for their performance through the season, uh, finishing second best to the Pete Wrights. Unfortunately, here at uh, Bombalapitiya, electricity has done a number, so uh, we are not able to try and get you the uh, audio from the presentation, but uh, the presentation uh, part is now in the mix.
awaiting to award the all important win is the best player of the match uh, of course win the email the first five eight uh, of uh, St. Peter's College receiving his uh, check from uh, Mr. Nero the Vijay Rama secretary of uh, Sri Lanka Schools Rugby Football Association and uh, his award uh, being presented to him by Mr. Harsh Samar Singha of Dialogue Asia at a PLC. Dimal, uh, absolutely brilliant stuff. Overall, brilliance from him. Securing St. Peter's College uh, their first league title in uh, 13 years after their triumph in uh, 2010 under Keith Gurusinga. Here they are yet again becoming uh, the undisputed champions, winning it uh, unbeaten. To cherish. This has been a tremendous historic occasion. The Dialogue Schools Rugby League 2023 champions, St. Peter's College, Colombo! After 13 years of tremendous performance, unbeaten league champions, they have done so well and uh, so good through the season. Okay, we would like to thank our presentation party, unfortunate. The boys just rushed in. Um, we thank you all for being present here. Distinguished invitees. It has been a tremendous achievement for them. The knockouts will feature the two teams that played in today's decider in the league as well as uh, the other teams that have come through barring of course Royal College. On behalf of uh, Dialogue Rugby and uh, Sri Lanka Schools Rugby we would like to wish all the teams that have uh, qualified to play in the knockout all the best. We like to see the best and uh, the Papare and Dialogue will show the matches live as and when time permits and the opportunity permits. So on behalf of uh, the Sri Lanka Schools Rugby and uh, Dialogue Asiata PLC, Sri Lanka's premier connectivity provider and uh, prolific uh, promoter of Sri Lanka sports. We say thank you and a very good night from the presentation area. Well, as uh, St. Peter's College celebrate uh, their absolutely brilliant win here at Bambalapitiya, the Dialogue Schools Rugby League comes to an end but uh, rugby schools rugby in particular is not over yet uh, upcoming week we will have plenty of games to bring to you the dialogue uh, schools rugby league uh, not rug, rugby knockouts 2023 rather will happen next week is college receiving a bye in the first quarter final second quarter final will be played between dsn and college and zahira college on the 25th of august at havelock park on the 26th of August, it'll be the third, second, third quarter final being battled out with Antonians taking on the Josephians. That will be a grudge match. That was the season opener for the league and in the final quarter final. The Beatrides, the champions who've just been crowned, will take on Trinity College on the 27th at Havelock Park, where teams will look to book their place in the semi-finals of Dialogue Schools Rugby Knockouts 2023 President's Trophy. It's been an absolute pleasure bringing you all these games over a period of three months from the time we started on Sri Lanka's number one sports up and uh, it's 
been a pleasure bringing you all the action from every corner of wherever these league games uh, commence. I'm Sudarshan Apiris signing off alongside the Papare.com production and the technical crew from Bambalapitiya until we meet next time. Catch me howling at the moon